All right, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon uh, Stadium playthrough walkthrough. This is going to be part 14 of our very first time playing this. Um, last time we got absolutely destroyed. Uh, what, what am I doing? We're on, what am I doing here? We're on the freaking Pika Cup, sorry. Last time we did the Pika Cup, we got very, very close to beating it. And, uh, yeah, there's this trainer with, like, these crazy Pokemon. They're, like, it's, like, level, like, the Arcanine's, like, I think it's, like, level 20 or something like that. And it's got Dragon Rage. Uh, it's super duper powerful. And then there's a Gyarados, apparently, with that as well. So that's the battle that I got stuck on. And apparently, uh, apparently it's probably, the, you know, it's probably strong. It's, like, probably the strongest or hardest battle in there. So... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. I am going to make one tiny team change here because um, I think I got my... I, I, oh, no, 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 no. I think I already had my team registered. Okay. Wait. No, I want to change I want to change that out. I want to change that out. Uh, hang on. Let me, let me go back for a second. I'm going to quickly pick my team again. There's just a couple of minor changes I want to do. So uh, we'll get onto that right now. My weekend was pretty good. Uh, there will be an X stream that's usually on the Thursday morning for me. I, w I wish I had a fairy type. That would be good. So I'll tell you what the main problem is. This Arcanine and Gyarados on the team, they can't pick both, has Dragon Rage. It outspeeds my entire team. It can nearly one-shot my entire team as well, because most of the Pokemon have got like 47 health. So that leaves me with being able to maybe paralyze it. So that's obviously what I'm going to be doing. Now, it sort of depends. I'm hoping that I can come across a Gyarados, because that'll be much better, because I've got Pokemon that can at least live that and uh, to do something there. Let's go Kadabra. And I wanted to change up. I think it was one Pokemon I wanted to change up, but mo mostly I'm keeping my team exactly the same. Uh, the wedding was the wedding was good, yeah. The next day wasn't so good though. I was feeling a, <laughs> I was feeling pretty hungover. It's been a it's been a um, it's been a hot minute, and I, I I hit that reasonably hard. Not like super duper hard, but I did, I did hit it pretty hard. So <laughs> I, was, I was pretty fucked the next day. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm still okay though. I don't know if we had Lapras last time. Okay, hang on, let me let me let me think. We had Chansey, yep, Chansey. Uh, and there was one I wanted to swap out. But that's it's, it's that's uh, it's not something I do very often. That's for sure. Uh, did I have any pickle beer? No, there wasn't any pickle beer there. Unfortunately, I would have yeah, absolutely loved if there was. You know, it would have been uh, it would have been like being on a stream. Um, yeah, Scyther, I'm swapping out because that's not needed. I'm just having a, a little bit of a look here. So there was an explosion. I was thinking there was an explosion battle that Gengar could be handy in. You know that, I think it's the hiker. I also had tr trouble on that hiker. I actually, wa it's funny because I went and watched this back the other day and now I've forgotten what I was going to swap it over to because I was like, oh, I'll just make this tiny edit and you know to my team and that should be you know, at least my best chance. Hmm. Um, I think I might... Look, I'll give Gengar a go, and there's one other I had. I can't quite remember what it is now. If anyone can remember, feel free to let me know, but I'm I'm thinking... Oh, uh, where was it? I don't know if I had... I might have had Lapras. That, yeah, actually, no, I did have Lapras. You're right. I did have Lapras. Okay. All right, let's give this team a go. Um... I'm okay with this team. We'll get started. All right, so as soon as I faint a Pokemon, apparently I have to start eating a pickle, and then I have to... When I faint another one, then I have to, like, eat, you know, finish eating the pickle. I, I, I guess. that Apparently, that's what it is. Okay, so we've got the bug person. All right, we've got the Kedabra first. Yep, that's going to be... It's going to be handy. We've got... What, what else we got here? Um, I think we had... 
Sorry, my memory is a is a is a tiny a tiny bit foggy here. Star Star me, and then we had like I think I had I want to say that I had Raichu as well. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully, I got this correct. Oh, can can you tell me what your the worst full course meal would be? The worst full course meal. It would have to be some sort of, like, pickle dish or something like that. Uh, I don't know what sort of pickle dish you would have. Like, basically, like, right, bakes around pickles. But uh, that would be absolutely revolting. All right, we're going to go for, uh... We're going to go for Psychic. Oh, Psychic and Psychic. Yes, the Earthquake was a... Uh, was a uh, was was very very bad but we sort of got around that i i believe we got around that we couldn't really find a pokemon that was flying that was any good either because i know that i went through all of them okay that's the end of the but oh, I, need, I need to start eating the pickle right now apparently after i find a pokemon i have to eat the pickle all right all right here's scythe next up is our is our friend scythe now let's go for a psychic. Oh shit, it went for double edge right away. It hasn't done that before. Normally it goes to sword dance. Oh no! Maybe we restart here. Yo, should we restart and get that? I think I might restart and get the and get the continue. I think so. Well, Lapras would have been a two-hit KO on double edge, so that would have been pointless. Um, okay, we're going to restart. Oh, shit, I don't want to do that. How do you do this again? I think it's like plus. Yeah. Let's go again because I don't... I, I want to get a continue against that. That's too easy. A lot of the time that... Uh, a lot of the time the Scyther... Um, that Scyther will go for, oh shit, uh, the Scyther will go for Sword Dance instead. That's one of the few times it's actually done that before. I, I don't like them, Jordan. If anything, they're, they're worse. If you restart, you keep chewing. Yeah, basically. I get what you're saying now. So I need to find another Pokemon. So we'll start with Raichu this time. Uh, Kadabra, and I'll go Gengar, because that'll be handy for that double edge. All right, let's do this, people. Let's do this. I was going to say, you watch it be like something that's not Scyther. Okay, we're going to go Thunder. And we get a miss on the bow, a Hyper Beam Butterfree. How about that? A Hyper Beam Butterfree. Okay, let's go for Thunder again. I got two Thunders. Sure, I can land like one of them, right? <laughs> Far out. Come on, Raichu, land it. Oh, what? I just missed three. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. All right, well, this next one is going to take it out. Come on. Okay, I finally landed it. And stupid Barbary. Okay, I have to eat the rest of the pickle now. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Venom. It has to make up for lost ground. How will the All right, that is the end of the pickle. That was that was revolting. Let's swap into Kadabra now. I don't want to lose my. I don't want to lose my Raichu. I was going to have to write you a love song. And uh, I don't know if I can do that. We're going to go into Kadabra. Kadabra can go for Psychic. I just have to be able to... Okay, this, this shouldn't hit. So 
So the okay, the AI can land a supersonic, but for some reason, you know, I missed three or four thunders in a row. Was it three or four? I, I know there was at least three. All right, that's the end. Of, I've been hit by uh, horn drill three times in a row before. Okay. Yeah, Kad Kadabra is just good at one-shotting everything with Psychic. He can just go Psychic. So he can make, actually one-shot every Pokemon bar Scyther and Butterfree. That's exactly what I did last time. It worked. I'm just getting I'm just getting the bad matchups and getting Butterfree and Scyther on the same team, which is kind of annoying. I just need a supersonic miss here. There we go. All right, we're good now. We're good to go. Let's go Psychic. We're going to preserve the continue. I'm also preserving these pickles by putting that jar on the jar lid on because it stinks. All right, Venom is down, so we need one more Pokemon. But yes, uh, wedding was good. It was good. The next day was a uh, little bit, little bit, um, little bit seedy, but it was all right. Yeah. All right, Ekans is the last Pokemon. So yeah, this, this is why I suggest Kedabra for this first battle. It's, it's very, very good. The only Pokemon that will give you a bit of trouble was mainly Scyther, but Gengar, I felt like, could deal with that as well. And um, yeah, works pretty well. Okay, so that's a, a nice, easy start there. We'll just forget the first battle. No, no, no I'm not, I'm not Pokemon. It was only the next day. It was a little bit. Okay, that's a, that's a nice start to the battle. Nice, I uh, continue. I had to like absolutely power eat that pickle down there after that uh, second KO. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. And this is the, wait, this is the, this is the lads. This is the lad. All right, this battle. So this was the, okay, Raichu. And then we had Gengar. That'd be good for that. And I think Starmie. Starmie. Okay. I'm just giving Gengar a go. I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but I think it might be handy in some situations, but it's still that those ground move situations and stuff like that. Okay. So we've got a, a good match up here. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they'll swap if they have a ground type. They don't. They okay. They, they don't have a ground type. They didn't swap. Good. Very good, but it didn't faint it. All right, miss Mega Kick. Oh, thank you, Hunter, for that luck. Saying miss, I, I I appreciate that. You definitely weren't talking about Thunder. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take out the Polyrath. Yes. So that, that's, a, that's a good start there, because that Polyrath, you can miss quite a few Thunders against that, and it can just mega kick you into Oblivion like twice. It only needs two hit KOs. Okay, who's next? Gengar was so much better of a Leote. Yeah, he, he was. Wow, they had Tangless. Okay, I'm very confused here. Um, I can't use Gengar. I guess I can use Gengar. Hmm. You're probably going to use like stun spore or some annoying shit like that. I can go T-Wave here. I'm just going to go T-Wave. Let's do that. Okay, I got to paralyze. There's not a lot I can really do here outside of like seismic toss. And of course I got critted by body slam. All right, so obviously they're going to go for another body slam. I know that I can live one that's not a crit, so I'm just going to swap it to Gengar because I don't think it can do much to Gengar at all. Let, let's see. Let's see. What, like, Gengar can at least, like, uh, be immune to that body slam. Oh, they got paralyzed anyway. It didn't really matter. Okay, so Gengar's got... Okay, Gengar's got Nightshade. Let's just Nightshade this. I thought, actually, I thought it might do, like, Stun Spore or... I don't know if it's got sleep. I know it has. I think it might have stun spore. It's got mega drain. Well, that can't do anything. That's completely. It's pretty walled there by Gengar. So you know, Gengar seems to be kind of all right for this. You know, that's that's not bad. Hmm. 
So we're going to need like another two more nightshades to take this out. Yeah. I don't think that'll get to the 30. Confuse it? I could confuse it, but it, it can't do any damage to me at all. So it's, there's not much point. I can faint it in two attacks. It's not really doing much. Okay. Are you sure Night Jet is the best move there? Yes, I'm sure. Unless you mean to press the metronome button and then I'll probably get explosion. So it'll be very, uh, very cruel if that happens. All right, that's uh, Tangle It Down. All right, good. I'd love to get a continue from this. It'll be really good. I'm just going to conserve the continue now. Uh, confused rate would be a waste of turn because we all know that AI won't get confused. That's true. Oh, it's uh, it's your boy Penny. All right. Um, what can this do? I don't know whether this has Earthquake or not. I mean, I can try Nightshade, but I don't know if it's got Earthquake. It doesn't matter if I don't get it continue, but at least you can't use Slash. Oh, sword dance? Sword dance. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's go Confuse Ray. Now, this is a good idea to go Confuse Ray, because if it hits itself, it's got to be nice. Now, hear yourself. Wait, you saw that again? You you could roll Metronome. For, all right, we, we okay. All right, we're going to go Metronome, all right? One Metronome, that's it. I'm only doing one. Focus energy. Woo. It's going to change everything. I don't think Pinsa can do anything. I, it's just nearly one shot. It nearly one shot at itself. It nearly one shot at itself. Uh, well, Hyper Beam doesn't work like it did in the games. Like, you have to still recharge. It's, it's actually not very good. Otherwise, I, I would have used it for sure. Well, Gengar was perfect for that. So it just took itself out with confusion. There you go. I perfect on the second. So Gengar was actually very handy in that battle. Very, very handy. Nice. So things are going uh, pretty damn good so far. That's two, per, uh, two uh, extra continues. And don't worry, I, I, I shall need them. All right, who's next? Uh, the swimmer. All right. Now, this one was mostly electric type. Sorry, water types. So we'll do Raichu, Stami. We are uh, actually maybe Chansey. Yeah, Chansey. Because I, I remember that Wiggly Tuffy can counter its um, body slam or something like that. That's what I did last time. Okay, let's do this. So we got a, uh, a Kingler lead. Maybe I, I could have brought Gengar along as well. Oh, well. I have beaten this pretty easily in the past, so we'll see what happens. Good damage there on, on Kingler. Oh, yep, it's got a one-shot. It's very nice. I'm only really bringing it for the ghost type. It can't really do much damage, you know. Maybe Wigglytuff now. Broma. Oh, Broma. Okay, I see. Hmm. You having pickles for you for for, for dinner, LSA? That that sounds uh, that's, that sounds uh, absolutely disgusting. Oh, you're not. I I'd seen the you know pickles for dinner. I got a crit. That's gonna that's gonna get dropped. Yo, we're having a very good run so far. No wiggly tough. Just another. E give me another easy sympathy water type Pokemon. That'll be that'll be good. Oh, nice. This is a good, this is a very very good run so far. Okay, now right, I mean it's good when Raichu actually lands its thunders, like you know that that's when it's good, you know. But when it doesn't land them is when it's bad. I think that's gonna live, yeah. Jigong's uh, Jigong kind of thick. All right here comes the ice beam. Oh no, I got critted. Oh, I lived. Oh. 
I was like, there goes my continue. But we got another continue. That's three continues. This, I think this is the best I've ever done. This is like the best I've, uh, I've done so far. Hmm. So I've got three continues in the back now. Raichu's special defense saved it. Like that, that thick special defense. Well, that's special, sorry. Good. You're having Pickles, uh, Pickles Cousin Capers. Ugh. Are those those tiny little green ball things? I think they are. So we've got three continues now, which is... Well, I don't think I've ever got three before. I think I might have had two. Oh, this one I've lost against a couple of times. All right, the burglar. All right, here we go. So this is the, all the... This is all like the ground type shenanigans. Okay. So we had that tentacle, that nine tails. Raichu. No, I didn't press that. Raichu. Starmy. I think Lapras is pretty good here too. I think we'll go with the Lapras. All right, let's do it. Let's do it the second. Give me a good match up here. Probably Tenacruel. It's always freaking Tenacruel as the start. It's always Tenacruel as the start. Always. All right, let's go with Thunder Wave. All right, I know what's coming in. I wonder, hmm, I wonder what's coming in here. Wow, wouldn't have guessed Doug Tree or Nido King. All right. Uh, so that's going to use Earthquake. Obviously. Now I can go into Lapras or I can go into Starmie. Oh, we'll go into um, go into Lapras. Okay, let's give this a go. Double edge. Wait, this doesn't have Earthquake? Oh, well, Lapras actually was a good swap in for that because it's got a lot of health. And that's going to do recoil damage. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go Ice Beam. It's got Thunder. I might be able to live this. We'll see. Yep, I lived it. I thought I would. Come on, Lapras. Free sacks. Oh, that was that was pretty good damage. I just uh, now I just I can actually I can go into Raichu now and then outspeed and go for seismic toss. Will I outspeed the the Nido King though? That's the question because I'm I'm two levels lower than it. So say uh, say they go for a Thunderbolt again. I go into Raichu. You know Thunderbolt does nothing to Raichu. Then I go seismic toss and finish it. But if Nido King outspeeds me with double edge, I'll have to take. Thunderbolt and a double edge instead of only one Thunderbolt. So I don't know if I want to do that or not. I just not I'm just not sure whether I'll outspeed. What's the matter, trainer? Or I just let Lapras go. I could just let Lapras go to play it really safe. I think I'm just gonna play really safe and let Lapras go. It's gonna let it go. Hey uh Vegeta, how you going, man? Double edge with KO itself. Uh only only if, I mean, if Raichu got one shot at, he wouldn't do any recoil damage. That's 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 the issue that I have there. And then it'd, it'd still be around. Uh, okay, we got Starmy. Starmy is faster than Raichu, like in this rental, so I should be okay now. I probably might have been better to start with Starmy, but it's not all that bad. It's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go Bubble Beam here. Unfortunately, uh, Starmie's actually faster than Raichu in this. And then in the past, Raichu was faster in one of the other cups. It was, it was kind of weird, so I was looking at their stats. <clears throat> I found out I have to work over, overnight so the next couple of days, so I'm going to be up all night. Oh, you're, you're doing like an all-nighter. Oh, well, good, good luck with that, man. Hope that goes all right for you. Got to uh, have, some, have something to keep you awake. Please. 
Oh, bullshit! Oh. That was, I really, really, really needed that land there. Damn. Let's go again. Probably would have read my movement and gone for like an attacking. I gotta paralyze. Get paralyzed. See, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. So ha I like that. Hacks for hacks. I'm, ha I'm I'm happy with that. That's that's a fair trade off. Now, do we go for Sire Wave? And I think we just go for Thunder here. It's probably gonna die. You lucky little shit. Every single time this stupid tenor crawl. And it critted me with Surf too. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. There we go. That annoying pain in the ass is down. All right, who's next? I just hope that it's not like Doug Trier. Otherwise, if, we're, if it's Doug Trier, we are absolutely destroyed. Oh, it's Drowsy. I wanted a sympathy Onyx, but I'll take I'll take Drowsy. All right, uh, I, I guess I could go Bubble. I'm just gonna go Bubble Beam for um for just just some nice easy damage, and I won't miss. That's good. Then I can bring in Raichu and go for Thunder. I'm probably going to die to like what Psychic here. Well, I haven't, I haven't won yet. I have to, I have to land my attacks. If I land my attacks, I should be okay. We'll go Bubble Beam again. We should have Sire Wave. The Sire Wave would have done like one damage, and then I would have been salty, and then you know Tentacruel would have like critted me or something like that. Speak here, crits. Oh, we lived on one hell. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Well, it's starting to fainted, but I can bring in the Raichu and um, I can go for a disrespect seismic toss. And we won. We didn't lose a continue. That was good. Why do these Pokemon always live on one hell for? <clears throat> Drowsy, aka me, after the little Timmy search. Yes. I Don't worry. I, I, I completely understand what you mean there. Hidden focus band in Gen 1. All right, well, that's the burger I've beaten on the first go. Nah, we didn't lose to continue. I mean, we lost the Pokemon, but that actually worked out pretty well. Pretty nicely. Thank goodness. Like, Starmie is, like, the best Pokemon there for sure. Like, it's absolutely 100% needed uh, for that team. I have, uh, Yeah, I guess I haven't. Uh, it's one I, I'd have to do in the future, Super Bowser, yeah. So this is where things start to really, really ramp up. Four to go. If you're enjoying the stream too, people, make sure you hit the like button there down below. It only takes one second and uh, helps spread out the stream to other people that uh, may not have seen it and uh, support the channel. Only takes one second. It's free. All right, we got the mine now from... This is a difficult battle. This was a difficult battle. Mime, Gengar, Lickitung. So I think the Gengar wouldn't be all that bad for this Raticate in Lickitung. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's all that bad. Raichu's obviously going to be handy with Thunder Wave, so I'm going to leave with that. Um, it's going to be handy for Golduck, Gengar. Uh... Lapras isn't bad either. That's good for Executor. Gengar and Executor have Psychic. Yes, they do. So I'm thinking maybe Starmie would be okay too. So Raichu, Gengar. Uh, this is difficult. It's like, it's like Starmie or Lapras. I can't really, I can't really decide because. Starmie would be good for all of them, but Executor. I think I might go Starmie because it's faster. Remember, I've got a couple of continues here. I mean, I don't want to use them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can sub as well. So I'm, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. 
Yeah, Mime is Mime basically is the lead that is you know that happens most of the time. So let's thunder wave this because it's just a pain in the it's a pain in the ass, basically. Oh, I, I could definitely go for a slice of uh, homemade. What, what sort of homemade pizza, Vampiric Fox? What, 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 what pizza are you making? So we paralyzed each other, uh, unfortunately. I could have... I could have swapped there, but I didn't really want it. Let's just go Thunder. I'm going to try and take Mime out now. And of course, like this Mr. Mime is lucky because last time... I was waiting for a special drop or a crit there. All right, I may as well. I may as well just stay and do as much damage as possible. Pickle pizza. Oh, I, I don't want a slice of his pickle pizza. That's that's absolutely disgusting. Anything? Oh, I got a crit. Yo, right, that's good because now I can just swap in like. Uh, who the fuck do I have? I like um. I can swap in like Starmy. I'm gonna make me some homemade apple and pickle pie? No! That'll be gross! Like, you'll bite into it and then, like, it's instantly, like, in the pastry will be that, like, uh, that pickle taste. You know, it would have, um, seeped through the pastry. The AI is limber on all there. They do! They, they never, ever get paralyzed. Like, it says they're paralyzed, right? But they never, ever get paralyzed. It's bullshit. Right, I'm gonna go for a disrespect side. No, I'm not. We're gonna go for Bubble Beam. We're not playing any games here. I might be able to sub. I might. I don't know. Maybe I should have subbed there. I just want to get rid of mine. I think when they get on a low amount of health, they always go for uh, attacking move, though. That's what I've noticed. Uh, Coochie Man has gone for a, a $1.99 super chat. Shout out to Coochie. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Shout out to Coochie. Thank you for the very first, um, very first super chat here. I got some little balloons next to your name. All right, let's go here to uh, Gengar. All right. I think you can put a mess if it's two dollars or higher. You can put a message. All right. Hopefully, like a normal move. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it dug a. Oh, he predicted me. It pre damn. That's that's very bad. All right. I guess I go back into Starmie. Why would it? So instead of that's that red, yo, that read my inputs. That read my inputs because like, uh, I mean, I could go for bubble bean. That's gonna do nothing. I reckon that. All right, that, we could go for metronome. Imagine if I get metronome dig. It does read your inputs on some moves, like counter. It absolutely does on counter. I know that for a fact. Um, I'm going to die to Dig. Starmie's going to probably take Dig kind of badly, and then Raticate's just going to outspeed. I think I have to sack off Gengar. Well, I can't... I might as well go Metron, because I'm going to go... Uh, I don't know. All right, we're going to go Metronome, and then we're going to get Fly. I probably lost, yeah. That was that was just unlike. I didn't realize that uh, that Raticate would be able to go for Dig on my Star U swap, Star Me swap. Okay, I, I I always sort of did on counter. It looked like super super like it almost looked like when you pressed it. It does it doesn't matter. We got another couple of goes of this. So the only thing I can probably try and do here is get a Bubble Beam drop on uh, like a Bubble Beam speed drop or a Thunder Paralyze. Outside of that, I can't really think of anything. This is going to have Hyper Beam, I'm pretty sure. Or Hyper Fang. Hyper Beam, okay. I think Starmie can live this very badly. Or not. All right, well, that's very unfortunate that Raticate's got Dig. Otherwise, Gengar would have been an excellent counter. Damn. I could have gone for the sub for star. I'm trying to think what I could have done differently there. I think I did everything right. Maybe I could have gone for sub. Like this stupid hiker, I always lose to because it's, it's um, you know, there's that many good poker on here. And the level difference, of course, too, is level 20. Because this, this hiker is like a cheater. 
Is it the hiker that's the cheater? Yeah, it is. The hiker's the cheater because it's got uh, it's got three level twenties. Hmm. I wonder if I start with Starmie and then I go I go sub on the Mr. Mime lead and then I attack. That could work. But then instead of having my Raichu paralyzed, you know. Then again, Raichu's not very good for Raticate, is it? Hmm. Yeah, instead of hiker, it's hacker. You take out the I and add the A and the C. <laughs> or the hacker hiker, yeah. Hmm. Mime can't break the sub with Psyche. Yeah, that's if it's a mime lead. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to give Starmie a try as the lead this time. It's not something I'd probably normally try, but I think Gengar's useless. If, if Raticate's got Dig, Gengar's useless. If they bring an opposing Gengar, Gengar's useless because it's going to have Psychic, isn't it? If they bring Executor, I think that is walled by Gengar. Unless, un unless Executor's got Dig as well. Thunder Wave is such a good move, though, so I'm probably just going to bring Raichu again. And Lapras isn't bad. Lapras is okay. It just can't do much damage. Um... Or Chansey. Chansey of physical. Star I know, obviously Starmie and Ra Starmie and Raichu. I just can't um I can't decide. I can't decide at the moment. We'll give Lapras a go this time. Look, it's all depending on what they're gonna bring too. Ah, so they brought out their lead level 20. This is where I needed Raichu to go. Thunder Wave, god damn. All right, what is this going to do? Psychic, I think, or Hypno... Uh, uh, Bubble Beam is my best go here, but it's going to do nothing. I either go for a Thunder or a Bubble Beam. I'm just going to go for Bubble Beam. Damn, that was rough. The level 20 right off the... Oh, they've got Nightshade. Hmm... Uh. I can live um, two more of those. I'm hoping for a bubble beam, like, speed drop. Maybe it's better if I just go for thunder. This is very bad. This is extremely bad, you know. I did 10 damage with that. 10 damage. They're staring each other down. Then if I swap to Raichu, then Gengar will outspeed me and then faint me with Psychic. The trainer hasn't issued an order. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try because I, I, there's no way I'm going to roll a bubble beam speed drop. I think that's, what, 10% chance? There, I'm definitely not doing that. I was going to say, ready for the, ready for the uh, Psychic on the swap. I have to hope that I can live a psychic, but I'm very doubtful. I'm very doubtful. This is what I was saying before. I'm very doubtful. Raichu is dead. Yep. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that it wouldn't be. I just wanted to show that Raichu couldn't live a psychic and a nightshade. It's only got 47 health. Okay. There we go. So now we know that. Well, I knew, knew that already. Uh, we got Starmie and Lapras. Well, I'm dead. Let's go for a free sax on the Lapras. That, that's virtually it. It's virtually my only... Uh, my, my only uh, shot at this. It doesn't have Thunderbolt, at least. God, that is doing so much. This is a, this is a level difference, right? Freeze Axe. Okay, well that that is that is definitely a, that's rough. Them starting with their ace at the start. If I, you know, if I led if I led with Raichu, I could have paralyzed that, you know, because I would have lived to Psychic. That would have been good. Freeze Axe. All right. Neither one is 
What's Kadabra going to do? Uh, he's just going to get one-shotted by Raticate, Lickitung. I know Executor's got to fight it. Has Executor got a physical move? I don't know if it does. It can't do anything to... The only real one it could do something to would be Gengar. That's about it, right? Yeah, it only, it's only good for Gengar. That's it. Uh, like one out of five Pokemon. I, mean, I just don't think it's useful outside of that. <clears throat> I don't think you would have fainted Gengar even if you tried judging by the damage. I don't know why this keeps using Night... I, I guess that's his only thing. You watch me get like a crit or paralyzed now. Or, I'll, or you know, I'll just miss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next time I'm leading with Raichu. That's the best lead. That way it doesn't matter what they bring, I can at least paralyze them. Most of the time they bring mime though. That's that's usually the lead. Alright, we'll go again. How many more continues do I have against this cheater? I've got two left. Yeah, we, we, that was that was just straight up. That was just like a straight up counter there. You should bring Zygarde. I wish I had Zygarde. That'd be perfect. Okay, so Raichu. Um, Starmie definitely. What about Lapras this time? I'm thinking maybe... Chansey does have Thunderbolt too, which would be good for gold. But that's not really useful outside of that. Kadabra's really only good for Gengar. <clears throat> hmm. GSS Prince Vegeta Super Chatted five dollars. Throw the spoon, Ben. Throw the spoon, then go pick it up and find a second spoon and become Alakazam while also magically going up five levels. Underscore. <laughs> Here we go, Alakazam. Ready? Shout out to Prince Vegeta. I'm gonna be Mega Alakazam to defend this fork as a spoon, and then I'll have like I'll grow like another four thousand like, hands, and then I can just hold these spoons up like this, you know, I could be Mega Mega Alakazam, and then I can sweep this round too easy. I'll just use Psychic, 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 Psychic. Yeah, Gengar is Gengar is rough. So there's there's like a thirty three percent chance he'll bring Gengar. Uh, Executor or Raticate, so that there's three level 20, so you can only bring one of them. I reckon the best one would be Executor, because Executor is slow, and that would actually be the best one. Raticate's got Hyper Beam and Dig, which is pretty good coverage. So I'm thinking that, um, and I, like, I, I brought my Gengar last time. Gengar, it might, if I bring my Gengar, that actually would probably wall Executor if it didn't have Psychic. Well, it's probably going to have Psychic, isn't it? Hmm. Watch them bring Mr. Mind, Raticate, and Gengar. That would be the worst team possible. All right, I'm going to bring Kadabra, but I guarantee you it's going to be a waste. Unless they've got Gengar. They have to have Gengar. That's like a one in... All right, here's high gold. I'm thunder waving that right away. Here's the swap. Executor? Oh, it's Eradicate. Oh, I paralyzed it. Yo, that's good. Okay, that's really, really good. So it's going to be Eradicate this time. I know that Eradicate isn't the greatest one to verse. It's going to use Hyper Beam here. I can't swap. Uh, I need. I think I need that Raichu. It has dig, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, they definitely read that it's got dig. They're staring each other down. I'm gonna have to go for thunder, and I just have to hope for the best here. What now? Oh, come on! I got paralyzed. Basil's done a 199 super chat saying my man Kadabra won't let you down. Uh, hopefully not, Basil. I'm hoping Kadabra will come in clutch, you know. But I, I, I think. There's no Gengar around, so I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'll, 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 I'm definitely going to try and use it. That's for sure. I mean, I can always bring it in now. Oh, 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 oh! We got oh, it dug a hole. 
It dug a hole! Uh, I guess I could go into Starmie, take the dig, and then finish with Bubble Beam? Or go for a sub on the Hyper Beam? Mmm. I think Starmie swap, take the dig, then go for Bubble Beam. I could even go for sub, you know, because I'll probably try and go for a Scumbag Hyper Beam, but I don't know how it works in Stadium. Do they have to recharge still if they fire it at a substitute? I don't know if there's some crazy mechanic behind that or not. That was not a very nice live either. Yeah, Bubble Beam's not going to KO, sadly. Uh, to go for sub or to not go for the sub. You know what? I've got nothing to lose here. I may as well go for substitute. Now, to get that dub, you have to go for a sub. Double edge! So it's got double edge, hyper beam, and dig. So it's got two normal moves. All right. Now, now, we, now we know. I need... Uh, what I need here is I need a... Uh, I need, I need a crit. I don't even know if a crit would take this out. A speed drop? That's going to change everything. Paralyze. All right. Well, at least I can bring in... Hey, at least I can bring in... I'll just bring... You know what? I'll bring in Kadabra and go for Psychic and finish him off. It's got... Uh, yeah, I remember it does have Ice Beam because I... Um, I, had an, I had another Pokemon there. I, I believe it used Ice Beam. I was like, What? Okay, here we go. We'll finish it off with Kadabra. Uh, Kadabra... Actually, Kadabra can go for a, a disrespect seismic toss. And that's uh, the exact amount of, uh, you know, damage it needs because it's level 15. So we'll just go ahead and go for that. Yeah. Just in case they try and swap, you know, into like... Wait, no, they can't have Executor. Okay, they can't have Gengar. They can't have Executor. Who is left? Golduck and... I think Golduck's coming up for sure now. Who is left? Oh, it's a Lickitung! Oh. Oh, Lickitung. That's that's not good. This is not good. Because I'm going to get wrecked by a normal... I, I, I know that I'm probably going to get wrecked here. But I'm going to go for Psychic anyway. Because it's the best... I need like a, a crit or something like that. Or a special drop or some sort of shit like that. Right, here it comes. Can I bring a crit? Yo! Kadabra was the, the GOAT, man. That was so lucky. Yo, that was lucky as fuck. That was a lucky, lucky crit. <laughs> there we go. I think I would have lost if I didn't get that. Seriously. What is wrong with Golduck's head? It's like deformed. Right, I'm going to go for a psychic again here. Oh, that was, that was really, really lucky. You were right, Basil. I mean, you had that. I mean, let's be real, though. You had that good luck. Yo, Kadabra just got a special drop on top of that as well. Right, dug a hole. Fair enough. Um, What do we got here? I'm going to go double team. At least double team can somewhat counter that goal nut or dig. Yeah, okay. Now, miss. He missed. <laughs> miss. Wow, this Kadabra is so lucky. <laughs> Yo, this Kadabra is like the luckiest Pokemon ever. Why does Dig... Wait, why does it use Dig like this goes... Whoop, it just spins around like this. And it keeps spinning around. And that's how it uses Dig. <laughs> uh, Prince Vanita's done a super chat. This is why you trust the spoon. Trust the spoon. Shout out to Prince Vegeta. I don't know if I gave you a whistle before, so I'm going to give you a double whistle. <laughs> You wouldn't get this from any other guy. All right, that's the stupid hiker defeated or the hacker. Uh, let's go on to the next one. We've got one continue up our sleeve and three battles to go. Bob the Builder. All right, here we go. Bob the Builder. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, this is the... Ex is this the exploding electrode from my memory? I think that it could be. Now, f what I'm thinking here is... That Porygon gets defeated by sub Starmie because I did it last time. It only has Psychic, right? So I'm going to try and bait them. I'm going to go Raichu, Starmie, maybe Gengar for that exploding. Like, say if they leave with Electro, I leave with Raichu. I swap into Gengar, they go boom. 
I don't think Por Porygon, uh, Porygon gets completely beaten by substitute Starmie because I remember I did that last time and that, that's exactly how I, I beat it. All right, level 15, Mark. Level 15, Mark. They're hacking. <laughs> you can't get level 15, Mark. Um... Unless it's like a, a, a like a Japanese exclusive or something like that, it might be in like a trade or something like that. Hmm, this is a tough one. So we got Raichu and Starmie, obviously. Lapras, Kadabra could be good for Mark. I'm just thinking this Gengar could be excellent for a, a, a like an explosion if it happens. Hmm. GSS Prince Vegeta super chatted five dollars. You're right, Ben. No other guy has whistled at me before. What are you doing later, handsome? I'll be up all night drinking, oh, face oh, rolling on the oh, floor, laughing. Oh, kisses. K uh, there's some kisses. SS super chatted five dollars. Love watching you getting wrecked by AI. Your reaction is golden. I felt the pain. The entertainment is real. Ha ha. Have fun, bro. Keep it up. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you, Evu. Uh, uh, Evku Pokemon SS. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat and thank you, uh, Prince of Vegeta, for that. Um very uh, uh, heart uh, heartwarming message there. So shout out to uh, Evku and uh, Prince Vegeta. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoy those kisses. Um, I'm just thinking here. I'm seriously, I'm just thinking. I think that it also walls muck, but not Porygon. You know what? I'm going to try. Let's give Gengar a go uh, against this. Maybe we can try and troll them. Hopefully it's Electrode lead. Oh, it's it's La Lapsian. <laughs> Never a dull moment there. That is true. So what would Lapras go for other than Ice Beam? I doubt this. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave. Maybe I should just go for Thunder. I'm just going to go for Thunder. Let's be real. Thunder Wave will miss. All right, let's go. <laughs> As Thunder's going to miss. Here we go. Boom. Good damage. Please don't dig a hole, Lapras, because I would be crying if you dug a hole. I'm going to live that. Not very well, but I'm going to live that. Okay. This Lapras is thick. Come on, right, you. Yes. All right, Lapras is down. That's very, very good. That's a bulky, bulky Pokemon, you know? Super thick. Super duper thick. So things are looking pretty juicy right now. Who's next? Road sit. Oh, do it. Do you reckon they'd explode? I doubt they'd go explosion. Because this has probably got Thunderbolt, correct? So I doubt they'd explode. I very, very, very much doubt it. I mean, if they do... Like, say I swap it to Gengar. I, I think... Does it have Sonic Boom? I could, you know, this, this, a clever thing would be go Thunder Wave. That could work, you know. Hmm. Maybe Thunder Wave and then swap into Gengar then. I'm just trying to think what to do here. I don't think they will. I'm going to go Thunder Wave. I'm skeptical. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Thunderbolt. Tardream Tank Super Chatted $5. Wum 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 wum. Kisses for Ben on his pickle. Oh. Kissy kissy. Wum 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 wum. I need a new pair of trousers. What the fuck? Oh, that is absolutely disgusting. Thank you, the Dream Tag, for that. A wonderful eye opening super chat. All right. But there's nothing yum yum wum wum about pickles. Um, all right. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna do? I can't do anything here. I seriously can't do anything. I either go into what would Geng? I guess if I went into Gengar, they would just keep going for Thunderbolt. I could bait them. Unfortunately, I can't do much of this. Hey, apart from Seismic Toss, of course. You know what I mean? 
So let's go for the seismic toss and hope those balls get paralyzed. All right, here it comes. Good. What, I need like, what, three more or two more? <laughs> oh, they critted me. Now, I was thinking I could go into start me and go sub or I, you know, they're probably, they're probably just going to... I don't know what the last Pokemon's going to be. Gengar will be able to take... You know, I'm going to give Gengar a go. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Sorry about that. I'm just like, I'm on like the brink of a sneeze here. Wait, we could do Parafusion. But my luck is so bad, it's probably not going to... Right, you know what? I'm going to try it. My luck is so bad, but I'm just going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, I, I could. I was thinking about Mega Drain as well, but or Nightshade. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. All right now, let's go ahead and go Nightshade. I'm not doing Metronome. I'm not doing it because I'll get explosion. You know, we know what's going to happen. All right, I need two more Nightshades. Two more Aura Confusion here. Oh, are you lucky? Oh, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I thought they were going to attack me. All right, I'm going to go for uh, Nightshade, and that is the end of, uh, that's the end of Electrode. Who's the last Pokemon? That's the question. That is the end of Road C Road CM. Hmm. Well, I don't know what their last Pokemon is. I don't know if they're done yet. We, we've got to see. I hope it's like something bad, like, I don't know, what, Charmeleon or something? Oh, Char I got this Charmeleon. Oh. I don't know if this is going to be bad, though. I'm going to go Nightshade and then Starmie goes uh, Bubble Beam. Good damage. Solid damage. Oh, shit, it's got Dragon Rage. Oh, no. Oh crap! Well, start. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Um, start me out speeds that at least, so it can eat my bubbles. But damn, I'm, imagine if I didn't get that nightshade off. Oh, I think I might have beaten it with one. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to say. Damn, that was uh, that ember disrespect. Uh, Ember Disrespect! Wow! This AI has been watching too many Pimp Night videos. That's the end of Gengar. <laughs> they, they disrespected me with Ember. Wow! You little shit. All right, I'm going to go for Bubble Beam. That was cruel. That was so mean. I, you know what? I should have gone for Metronome too. I should have gone for Metronome. All right, anyway, it's fine. It's, it's all good. I wish I went for Metronome now. It has Dig on top. I think I remember it using Dig. Then again, all these, all these other, uh, all these other, um, it's Pokemon. They all seem to have Dig. All right, that's the end of the Char Char Charmesian. Charmesian. Sorry about that, Charmesian. We're almost at 100 likes, people. Can we get there? We've nearly got 300 people watching the stream. If you're enjoying yourself, if you're watching me get salty, if this is entertaining you, hit that like button. Only takes a second. It'd be awesome if you could do that. All right. Um, the Charmeleon was determined once she saw a level 17 Lapras since the AI gets five extra levels. Yeah, it was based on the, the levels, the total levels of the team. Okay. <laughs> that was mean though. All right, now we know, okay. This is what I want to say here. So this is the hardest battle I believe uh, cause we, what we need, okay, let me explain this one. So this Arcanine has Dragon Rage and it outspeeds every one of my Pokemon. Gyarados also has Dragon Rage. It outspeeds every single one of my Pokemon. So what I need to do is get a Paralyze on. The problem is when you leave with Raichu, the Arcanine uses Dig. And, and then you're screwed. You're basically lost. So the only way I can win this is if Arcanine or Gyarados are in the back. If Raichu, you'd, say you'd leave with Raichu. If they don't swap it in, I believe that Gyarados is a good chance of being in the back, right? That makes uh, perfect sense to me. So I'm thinking Raichu, Starmie, for sure. So Raichu, Starmie. I never did that. Raichu. Wait, I press B. Yeah, I swear I press B. Raichu, Starmie. 
Now, Chansey... Chansey's not going to leave any of those physical moves on Gyarados and ride on. Uh, the only thing it'll be useful for is, like, tanking moves from special users. Um, and then we've got, like, Lapras... Ch uh, Gyarados can one-shot Chansey. Rhydon can one-shot Chansey. Arcanine... Well, Arcanine... I don't, Arcanine can go dig. That's about it. The only good thing Chansey is, is for Dragon Rage. So I might just bring it just to live a Dragon Rage. Let's just do that. All right, people. I, I This is the battle I always lose against because it's like just BS hard. <sighs> Unbelievable. All right, well, right on is the lady. I've got no idea what's going to be on the back. Right on these nuts. All right, we're, we're, I guess I just... I either sack Chansey or go into Starmie. Starmie's going to take unbelievable damage. Um, I think I just sack Chansey. Real talk. I think I just have to... Because that's the most disposable Pokemon. Like, I, I don't want Starmie to take any damage because I want to go for, like, Bubble Bean fresh as a daisy against it, you know? I think I just sack off the uh, the Chansey because that's the most expendable Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and do that. That was a that was a very bad matchup. This, I, was just, I was just unlucky, you know? It could have been any other Pokemon than Rhydon or Arcanine. Well, T-Wave isn't going to work. Oh, what? What? They swap? That's a... Yo, that was a button input read. Okay, we got, um... We got Arcanine. See, this is bad. I've got Bubble Beam Encounter. I guess I can go for a speed drop on Bubble Beam. That's about it. I don't think I'm going to win this. What? Okay, they go for a dig. Okay. Uh... Well, I'm not going to live that. I wish Counter would work on dig, but it's not. It's not going to work. So we got the worst possible matchup now. We got the worst, worst, worst possible matchup. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to win this one because Rhydon and uh, Arcanine are a massive counter. See, counter would have been beautiful there if it worked, but it doesn't work on dig. It only works on normal fighting move. <gasps> I got a speed drop! I got a speed drop! Oh my goodness, I got a... Yo! I got a fucking speed drop. I'm going to go for a paralyze on Thunderbolt. I think that's... Like, if, say if I go for Thunderbolt, then they'll probably go... They'll probably, like, try and read me and go into a ride on. I'm going to... might go for a bubble beam. I'm going to go for a bubble beam again. Holy Kennedy shit. Gave super chatted $49 Holy moly. Cents. Here's my entertainment a grown man crying about a pickle. Still hoping for a chair sweep too, but I fear the day may never come. A grown man crying about a pickle? Shout out to Killer Dog Games for the $49.99 super chat. <laughs> that is a second pickle. And, um... I'm hoping well, there won't be a grown man crying. I hope I can win this. So, what I'm thinking here is... Let me grab this pickle out the jar real quick. I like Raichu will outspeed it. Starmie bubble beam straight up. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Starmie needs to take out Rhydon. I don't I don't know whether I can beat Rhydon with one bubble beam. Because that'll use okay, that's gonna use Dragon Rage. I'll be on two health after that. I think Raich... Wait, uh, if I send in Starmie, that might... I don't know what to do. If, okay, if I send in Starmie, they can't go into Rhydon because I'll be too they'll be too scared to swap out. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to go for it. Bubble Bean, here we go. Right, I'm going to eat this pickle. That bubble beam did absolutely nothing. I, t I told you. People were like, Arcanine special's bad. I'm like, dude, it's going to leave bubble beam easy. I told you, people. I freaking told you. All right. Well, bubble beam won't kill unless I get a crit. Or I go into Raichu and take the... Uh, yeah, I, I knew to go into Raichu. But if I go into Raichu, they'll swap out of Arcanine and then go back into Rhydon. And then the speed will be dropped. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm sort of stuck. I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place. Oh, shit. That scared the fuck out of me. Right, anyway. Um, like, the, my, my fork just fell off the top of the jar. Um... Yeah, I have to, I have to, I have to kill here. I don't think Bulbeam's going to kill, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Let's hope for a, a maximum damage roll, and then I'll eat my pickle. No! Oh, speed drop, you piece of crap! Miss! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness! There's no, there's no way in the, there's no way that you wouldn't read about it! Like, you can't, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I'm being serious. You can't make this shit up. Bubble Bean gets a speed drop, fails to take it out to health, then Fire Blast misses. Wow! There's no way! Wow, they went for a, they went for Fire Blast disrespect. I, I almost, I, like, I, if I went for Psywave, this is, no, I'm not going to do it. I want to win. We're going to go for Bubble Bean. <laughs> That's fucking lucky. All right, Arcanine is down. Holy shit. Right, this is, it is pickle time. I'm gonna eat this pickle with my bare hands. Right, go full Neanderthal man. Oh, not Jinx. Ooh. I don't know whether I can beat Jinx. So they can't bring in Gyarados next. So it's Gyarados and Rhydon. I think I need to save Starmie. I have to save Starmie because like, I'm going to get wrecked. Let's go into Raichu. I'm not going to write you a love song. I've got a pickle inside my mouth as well. It's, 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 not, it's not very fun. Yo, if Jinx has his dig, I'm going to lose it. What now? That is not good. Um, so I can go Thunder or Thunder Wave. I think I'm just going to need the Thunder. I don't think... I'm going to have to go Thunder and get a crit. That's the only way. A Thunder crit? I'll go for a Thunder crit. That, I, I'm not going to get it, but like... What did that spin? What the hell? That Jinx just outspent my... Oh, you lucky little shit. Oh, no. I didn't think that it would outspeed. This Raichu is trash, man. Its speed is garbage. I would have gone for... Th I guess it doesn't matter because I would have gone for... Th I was, I was going to go for Thunder anyway. Well, I will outspeed Jinx, but I, I can't. I have to go for Thunder. That's my only way. Thunder paralyze. It's the only way to win. Not gonna get it anyway. That, that is a miss. Oh, that was that was tough though. I faced the I faced probably one of the hardest ones like with Arcanine and then the Ride on. Then I had to keep my Starmie alive. That was a hard one. I felt like I, I know that I could win this if I get the right three, you know? I, I think I've got one more chance. One more chance. My team was solid then, in my opinion. It was, it was nothing wrong with it. It's just what they lay with. Yeah, any Pokemon but Arcanine. I'll take, I'll take the Gyarados. And the Gyarados I can kill with Thunder, or Thunderbolt, or whatever, whatever, whatever that, whatever, whatever move, you know. All okay, right, Raichu, Starmie. Who did I pick last time? I think I had Chansey, didn't I? Hmm. It depends for Chansey. I mean. If, imagine if Chansey's versus Gyarados, so. Actually, I'm going to try Lapras out. Let's give Lapras a try. I, it, mainly, it, it falls down to whether they're going to have Arcanine and Jinx or not, because that's just broken. <laughs> Holy shit! I've never had a Gyarados lead before! 
All right, there's no place for your bitch ass to hide. I'm going to go for a thunder right now. You're fucked, Gyarados. Or maybe I should go... Wait, maybe I should go for a, a thunder wave first. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking what to do. Do I go for thunder? Or do I go for thunder wave? I got to think this one through. Because you don't get... You, know, you don't get this silver platter given to you very often. You know what I'm saying? They gotta, they gotta be going. Imagine if they got ride on. The trainer hasn't issued an Shit. Order. I'm gonna go Thunder Wave. Something tells me that I should go Thunder Wave. Dragon Rage. So this has got it as well. I thought so. It didn't swap either. Very interesting. It didn't swap. That tells me there's no ride on. There's no ride on these nuts. All right, I'm going to go for Thunder now. Raichu, if you had to do anything in your life, it's to land this Thunder for your boy, all right? Come on. Yes! What the fuck? He lived? He live that? It's four times super effective. Wow. It lived it! It lived that! Wow! That thing's on like freaking. That's like got like 999 vitamins shoved into its mouth, man! Raichu did his job though, that's all good. We, we, we're good here, we're good. I wonder if Lapras can outspeed. Probably not. We're going to Starmie, Disrespect Bubble Beam, and see what they got next. Yeah, I reckon they slipped an assault vest into this game, you know? They slipped it in the code. All right, here we go. We go. This is good, though, because now they can't bring out any more bullshit Pokemon like Arcanine and, you know, press the A button to win. Um, oh, I hope that Bubble Beam kills. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. This is gonna be, you're gonna, not going to be pretty, people. This is not going to be pretty at all. Oh, I got a crit! Oh, I don't know where... <laughs> so, oh, shit. I don't know whether that would have killed or not. I was expecting the one health live and I got a crit. Never mind, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What is this shit? I fight... Oh. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you... What the hell... It I don't know what's going on here. Like, what will this do? Thunderbolt? I think this might have Thunderbolt. I could go, look, I could go sub. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's got like a thunder wave. They're staring each other down. I'm just like, honestly, I'm going to do no damage to this. But if I swap in the Lapras, then I'm going to take two Thunderbolts then. The yeah. Hmm. I'm going to check what they've got, but I, I'm pretty sure it's got Thunderbolt. If it uses like a status move, that'd be amazing. Oh, I did, yes. Okay, beautiful stuff. A solid performance there. All right, so Starmie now is hiding behind the sub. Uh, we're gonna go for Bubble Beam because that's accurate. Uh, well, it's, well, let's let's be real. It's actually gonna land, unlike Thunder from Down Under. That did nothing. So, oh, oh, so this ain't. So this is sort of like that Porygon. That didn't even break it. Are we going to get this win? I'm feeling good about I don't know what the last Pokemon is, though. Because we've had Gyarados and... Wait. I can't even remember what the last... Okay, we haven't seen it yet. It's a four-hit KO of Bubble Beam. It's, in it's incredible stuff. The sub is broken, so now I'll go for sub again. Rinse and repeat, baby. All right, there we go. I'm trying to get that pickle taste out of my... What? Now it suddenly pulls Thunderbolt out of its ass after all that time? Oh, what the hell? I need my Starmie because it's fast. Uh, I thought we were going to win. Now we're not. Uh, so we go into Lapras. I doubt Lapras will... I don't know how Lapras is going to be able to... If it can take two Thunderbolts and then I finish it off with Starmie... Bubble Beam is going to do nothing and I'll die. And then Lapras won't will out, get outspared and get hit by a Thunderbolt and then the last Pokemon will faint it. 
I can't lose Stami because remember their last po wait, how many? They've got one more poke. What are they? Okay, let's think about this for a second. Let's think about this for a second. Gyarados is gone. Arcanine can't be used. What other shit's there? Cafable's there, so there's only three other Pokemon to pick from, isn't there? What's the matter? If it's Rhyhorn, sorry, Rhydon, I, I need Starmie. If it's Jinx, I'm fucked either way. Um, I don't think it's, yeah, I agree, Hard Down. I don't think it's Rhydon because they would have gone into it. So it's not Rhydon, it's Jinx and something else, or Cloyster. I have to keep, I have to keep Starmie alive, don't I? I have to. But then it, has Lapras got, th has Lapras got an electric type move? I don't want to sub again. All right, whatever. I'm just going to go for Bubble Beam. Because Lapras, if I swap it out, it's just going to it's just gonna get wrecked. I just have to hope that it's like a... Um... It's so weird that didn't use that to begin with, you know? Oh, damn. I was hoping I'd just leave that one. All right, I think we're done, people. I think we're done. Unless the last Pokemon is like a super good matchup for Lapras, I think we lost this. After that dream victory on the Garrod, oh, that dream Garrodos lead. Oh, I don't think I'll ever get that again for such a long time. Okay, that isn't all that bad. If I can get around it, that is. It's <sighs> unbelievable. Oh. Now, I could have got a scot free, no damage then. What'll it do? Yeah, it's a hit. That's bullshit! That's two in a row. Oh, come on! That's the straight cheating! That's straight cheating! Now it's gonna. Like, I would have dodged all that shit. Let's crit! Oh, it did, oh, it did crit! And a paralyzed. Fuck off! That's bull! All right, I want to know who the last Pokemon is now. That's a straight bullshit. That is bullshit. I would have won that for sure. Let me see. Let me see. If it's Jinx, I would have lost. But if it was like... It was right on! Oh, it was right on! Oh, it was the perfect Pokemon. I would have won. I would have won because all I had to do was hit it with an Ice Beam. It was dead. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, I can't believe it. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. Why? Wait, hang on a sec. Why didn't Garrett? Hang on. Why didn't Garrett swap into Ride on? That doesn't make any sense. Why though? What? Why did it not swap in? Why the hell did it not swap in for? That doesn't make any sense at all. I, I still don't know why it didn't swap for. Oh, that was just bad luck. All right, let's keep going again, people. Uh, I, I don't think there was... I just not... I'm not... I've got to be honest here. I'm not really using Lapras. I haven't really used Lapras at all except for then. I don't know. I think this... I, I think I'm just bad luck. I just... I, I don't know if Bubble... Like, I mean, remember that the DVs on these Pokemon are like probably like way higher than mine. So I, I think Bubble Beam would have lived. That, that was that was just straight unfair. That was just unfair. All right, Gengar for that. Okay, now, bro, Gengar for the Scyther and Farfetch and... What else we got here? Um, I think I just went with... Ah, Raichu. All right. It probably would have lived in Ice Beam. Let's be... I think Ice Beam would have killed it, but I think Lapras would have lived the... Yeah, it would. It should have. Uh, like, it should have normally had full health. Ah, oh. I almost just got to the last battle there, Brian, and I got completely, completely destroyed there by by RNG. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. And I had the best lead of the Garrodos, and they didn't even swap either. 
Yeah. So Rhinon was done. Lapras would have finished it off. This is a wild one from the Lapras, uh, Gyarados' special is pretty good. And like, it's, it's special is as nearly as good as its physical, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it, it was one of the, it was definitely one of those moments, that's for sure. Why does Gyarados not go for double edge against Raichu? Du I, I don't know, like, it's, it's weird. Oh, wait, this is a Hyper Beam Butterfree, isn't it? I'll stun Spore. Oh, that was, that was lucky. Okay. That means we don't have to... So I'm capable of getting a, a continue on all three of these first, but I'm not going to restart if I don't get a continue on the other ones, but this one's definitely a restart if I, if I don't get, like, you know, a continue on this. Yeah, it lived, it lived Thunder from a Raichu. A Raichu. It's unbelievable. And then, you know, I would have still had my Raichu to go... Well, I mean, right, okay, right, okay. Rhydon would have came out after that, wouldn't it? And then I could have swapped Starmie in, and then what? That would have been perfect if that Raichu actually fainted it. So it sort of all goes back to that Gyarados not getting one shot, it doesn't it, when you think about it. So I swap in, I've got my Raichu, then they bring in Rhydon. Obviously, I sack, I go for, no, I go for Seismic Toss, do a little bit of damage, bring in Starmie, take the Rhydon out, and Clefable is last. I would have won, because I would have had Starmie and uh, like Lapras in the back. It all, it all went back to that uh, Gyarados living. It did, when I'm thinking about it, yeah. Okay. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, you wouldn't read about it. I had the perfect matchup too with that Gyarados at the start. And they didn't even swap the uh, ride on in. That was, that was crazy. I, I, I don't know. I can't really explain why they didn't do that though. That was, that was kind of weird. Uh, Raichu, Gengar. What else do we have? Uh, I think I had Starmie. Uh, I think I had Starmie. Yeah, Starmie. Okay. I had Starmie in the, and La Lapras in the back, and I still lost to Clefable without the run. I know! The, the, the problem about that was I had to conserve a Pokemon, so I had to conserve Starmie or Lapras for the ride on, and it, it just didn't happen because like, I couldn't even attack! Oh, this is a this is a bad matchup. Uh, let's go into Starmie, I guess. So it's not often we get a Cubone start here, so I'll swap out the Raichu, because that's going to go for like, I don't know, Bone Club or something. Earthquake! Ouch. Hmm. It had a Wacam Berry, yes. The Gyarados, yeah, obviously, obviously it had a Wacam Berry. Okay, this... It lived? Oh, come on! Okay, thank goodness I lived. I, I, at least I can serve the continue. At least I can serve the continue. Because I, I want to try and continue as many of these as possible. Because that way I've got, like, a couple of continues up my sleeve for those later BS battles. Like that one there. You know, like the burglar, or the the hacker, and the the lass. I think it is. Okay, war total. War total. Uh, what are you going to use as a water move? It's going to write you to conserve the. Uh... It's better not go like skull bash or something on my swap. Uh, if I understand, it was close. The Lapras simply can't do anything without C ball. Yeah, there's only eight battles. Oh, I'm sick of these hole digging Pokemon. Seriously. I don't know have Thunder Wave to go for. I, I can't even swap because they're all weak to it. Oh, okay. Well, I have to lose a Pokemon here. Um, let's let's go to Gengar. Then I'll go Mega Drain. I'll try that. Yeah, I reckon they should call this the Dig Cup. You know, there's every poker one has Dig. I should leave this though, because there's only a War Total. It's not like a Doug Trio. There we go. Yeah, I'm not getting continued for unless I get a crit from um, Mega Drain. Come on, crit Mega Drain. Come on, Gengar. 
You got the special. You got the power. I got a crit. I got it. Oh, it still didn't faint it. Damn. It still didn't faint it. Then again, Mega Drain is like trash base power. Um, well, I think it's time to go for a metronome fly. I don't know about you, but I'm going to do that. Here we go. I got raw, but it's not going to work. Oh, that would have been that would have been amazing. I could have, you know, scared it out of its little hole. Okay, now I, at least I can go into a Starmy way. I don't think it, actually. I think it's too risky to go into Starmy. All right, we're going to Starmy because I, I don't want to like if I if I go for Thunder or Raichu and it misses. Wait, no, Raichu has Seismic Toss. I should have gone into it. That was my fault. For some reason, I'm like, oh, I'll just go for size of Dross with Starmie. Well, I think we know that uh, Bubble Beam's not going to faint it, so I'm just going to go for Thunder. That was my fault then. Okay, good. If I got Metronome Fly with Gengar, that would have been pretty funny. And then I could have countered the dig and got for Fly and then got for Mega Drain and fainted it. All right, who we got here? Penny. Oh, it's... it's uh, it's um, it's it's your boy Penny. All right, we're gonna go. Oh, we can't go into Gengar. Oh shit. Uh, okay, time to go for Bubble Beam. This is a disaster. I need a speed drop, I think, because Raichu's probably gonna get outsped knowing my luck. Strength. I wonder what this has got. I, I, I guess it's got strength as its best move. You watch. I bet you this has dig as well. So Mega Drain made no difference. It made even a crit Mega, Mega Drain made zero difference. Unbelievable. Uh, let's just go for Thunder. Okay, well, if I lose this one and lose my continue, I'm just going to restart because I, I can't lose like a continue on these first battles. They're too, like, like well, they're, they're this, this not even like hard compared to the other ones. All right, there we go. And that's the end of Pinsa. Jesus, this has been a very, very rocky start to, uh, to this time around compared to like last time, which was like the best start ever. I had like three continues. And all those other, other sort of things. I get, you know, if we get the if we get the uh, bad luck out of the way first and can continue the good luck, oh, I'm fine with that. Welcome anyone that's new here as well. I hope you're enjoying yourself, and of course to my usual crew. Hope you're having fun too. If you're enjoying it, make sure you hit that like on the video. If you're enjoying yourself, having some entertainment, laughing at me getting you know paralyzed into oblivion and hacked into oblivion, and all those sort of things. All right, right, you, star me. Uh, Raichu, Stami. What else did I say? Uh, Gengar. I'm not sure if I read your super chat out last time, Hunt Down, but you said, Hope I can win this, he says, jinxing his chances. That was probably when Jinx was on the field. Uh, the pickle suit is at our third pickle. We're a little bit off that yet. We don't just hit our second one. Uh, okay, so we got Jugong as the lead. Let's go ahead and go for a Thunder. Oh, a nice lead there. Very, very, very clean start to the battle. They're getting rid of Jugong in one hit. I'm liking that. I thought that, uh, okay, tough, tough mark. So now what we can do is go into Gengar. You know what? The better play would be probably to go for Thunder Wave and then go into so I can get Parafusion. Yeah, let's do Parafusion. That's actually, that's exactly what I did last time from memory. I did Thunder Wave on this and then I swapped it to Gengar and then I went Parafusion and we, we beat it pretty easy. Yeah. I did, oh shh. Well, no, it's only a Wiggly stuff. it's fine. 
Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to get some recoil damage too. Well, not very much, but you know, some is better than none. And the uh, b bananas in pajama suit is for the fourth pickle. Yes. You know, after the pickle suit for the fourth one, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just get my bananas and pajamas uh, suit out of the cupboard. I don't, I don't, I don't have a. I know it's surprising, but I don't have a bananas and pajamas uh, suit you know, on on hand. Okay, we got Gengar. Okay, you know that that, that should take recoil damage because Wigglytuff should go through the ghost and then hit like the wall at the back. I, I mean, at ten pickles at that stage, you could probably just randomly pick something. Okay, I run down the street in my pickle suit. It's like, rest! Rest! What? Oh! It, it, what the f Oh my god, I did it. It's, it's never used rest before. Oh, okay. Well, it is, I guess we. I wish I had Dream Eater. That would have been awesome. So, this is the first time we've seen it use rest before. Like, it completely countered my uh, combination. Of uh, Thunder Wave. I, I guess I just keep nightshading it. Because when it wakes up, he can't attack that turn. So he probably will get like one chance. Like one chance. <laughs> I'm not going to do Metrono. Like that. <laughs> Alright, it's a five hit KO of Nightshade. Ugh. Uh, what are you going to be able to do? Like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. I don't, I don't I have no idea what it can do. So it's got Rest and, and Double Edge. That's about it. Two more. Oh, good. It went for double team and it hit itself for confusion. Of course, it's on 17 health, so it's going to get like... It's probably going to be out of... Unless I go confused right here. Nah, I'm just going to go... I'm going to go Nightshade. Metronome Dream Eater. I'll finish it off with Metronome. How's that? It's only got two health left, so I should be able to finish it off. Here. We'll just do not... All right, looks like we are fainting this stupid wiggly tough again. I'm, I'm about ready to go for metronome. Seriously, I'm about to go for metronome. I'm going to get metronome horn. What? They swapped? Seedra? Seedra Nightshade? I guess I can go Mega Drain against this. Tar Dream Tank Super Chatted $92. Oh, holy. Kiss the pickle before you eat it. Mwah, mwah, and do not mess up your trousers from Harden. That is absolutely revolting. I have to kiss the pickle and not mess up my trousers from Harden. I have no idea what that means. It doesn't sound very pleasant. I'm going to go for a Mega Drain. All right, that is the third pickle. It is official. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not mess up my trousers. Apparently, what uh, spilling pickle juice on them? So I think that's what you might mean. Shout out to the dr the Dream Tank for the super chat. <laughs> try not to um, yes. Yeah, so try not to be too hard after this. All right. I think that's what the message is. Here we go. Ready? Are you ready? Someone's gonna someone's gonna clip this for sure. And there's your, there's your pickle that I kissed. Let me just go for a Mega Drain again. And I gotta eat the pickle after that as well. And Seedra has miraculously lived on four health after that. Do I have anything strong? Strong, what, what, what do you mean strong? Oh, you mean like something... I don't know what you mean by strong. I'm going to put the pickle suit on as well. Let me let me finish this battle and I shall put the pickle suit on. I hope you enjoyed that uh, pickle kiss, uh, the dream. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. All right, next is Tough Ma. Now, this is asleep already. I doubt I'm running out of pickles, Lauren, because it's... There's like, how, how many Drekken are in that jar? I reckon there's like, I don't know, I want to say 20 in that jar. I don't think, I don't think there's going to be 20 pickles. So I think I'm pretty, pretty safe of not running out of them, right? Now let's go for Nightshade again. Oh, I don't think this Wigglytuff can do anything to my Gengar. 
How does Surf almost do half the Gengar? I don't know. I'm trying to think what else I can do to this. I guess I could go into Starmie, but it's not going to do anything. They're just going to keep going rest over and over and over and over again, I'm assuming. Because Nightshade is like a five hit KO. Hmm. I'm going to go for a Confuse Ray this turn and maybe try and swap in Raichu to go for a, th a Thunder or something. I could Mega Drain, but it's going to do like... Oh, I want to see... Oh, you little... It's PP stalling. Oh, I hope I... Kinesis? I got Kinesis. In, I actually... I was like, you know what? I wonder what happens if I go for Metronome. Right, it's going to hit itself for Confusion. I was meant to actually go for Nightshade, but I actually pressed Metronome there. Let me go again. Uh, we're going to go for Nightshade and hope it gets confused. I like This is just a, like a rest, a rest sort of loop here at the moment. Hit yourself. Sing! Oh! I did it. I beat it. I beat it. The confusion was the was the play there. Right, that was the play. Beaten. What? Oh! Yo, I hate this Quiggly Tough so much. Yo, this thing is... I, I'm ready to go. Yo, I'm ready to go Metronome Explosion. I, I'm, I'm ready to give up the free continue. How do you even beat this thing? It's just impossible. There's no... There's literally no way I can beat this. There, there's no way. <sighs> Metronome, what's the play? All right, Metronome, here we go. It's time to get a horn drill. Uh, uh, supersonic? Damn, son, it even landed. A nightshade is hitting normal. Yeah, it hits, it hits everything, uh, uh, Zabba. That's it. I, I, that's it. I, I just have to keep going with nightshade. All right, I've got to put this pickle suit on too, so I said I would. Where, where's the hole? There it is. Wait, that's 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 the front of it. And now it's woken up. I'm going metronome again. I have to win with metronome. I got sing. I landed it. Wow, I put that fucker back to sleep again. All right, sweet, sweet. How did I land a sing? Okay, I can land a sing, but I can't land nightshade. Damn. That's 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 some that's some next level stuff. I, I think I can beat this now. If if I can keep keep pounding this. Okay, it's gonna wake up again. Um, I'm just gonna use Nightshade again. I think I need this. Can does anyone know if the opponent can use Struggle? See, I'm being serious right now. Can the opponent struggle out? I'll piss off with your sing. Oh. Does anyone know if this opponent can actually struggle? Like you actually 100% know for a fact. Oh. All right, they can. Okay, so Wiggly Tusk. Let's think about it. Wiggly Tusk got Sing, Rest. What else does I have? Sing. Rest, double team. Sing, rest, and double team. I don't think it's got any other moves in that. Or maybe it's got double edge. I think it's got double edge as well. It attacked itself. Imagine if I could wake up and come in clutch here. Oh, I'm talking about the wiggly tough struggling, not me. I've got three Pokemon left. There's no reason for me to struggle. 
and is using double team now. Is Wheelie tough this stream's Arbok? Yes, it is. It sure, sure is. And Genghis still... Wait, well, it's going to wake up. The problem is they're using up, like, not very, like, very many of their moves. Let's go to Starmie. Sing, rest, double edge, and double team. That is... Cr Don't you dare make that set hunt down. All right, we're going to go into Starmie, and we're going to try and bait them with a double edge. I've got a good feeling about this. If it had sleep talk, I think I'd um, I'd restart. So we got sideway bubble beam with thunder. Hmm. Let's see how much bubble beam does. It's probably going to do like no, actually, actually, that's if it even hits. I need to put the aircon as well. This pickle suit is making me very, very hot. I know that's uh that's what um. Well, uh, that, that, I guess that's what people want, right? All right, I'd say you're probably going to try for a double edge or a sing, so I'm going to go for a sub. Yes, it's a pickle suit. All right, the sub is up. Here comes the double edge. The sub broke. Maybe I should just let them... Maybe I can bait them with double edge. I'll go bubble beam, they'll go double edge, and I'll win. Come on, Starmie. It's time to rise up. Woo! Double edge, go. Yes. I think I could... Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now do some recall. Good. Okay, if I land the bubble beam, I win. But I'm probably not going to win. Yes! It worked! See that reverse psychology? It worked! It worked, that's how I got the win. Yeah, get, get wrecked, Wigglytuff. That is the end of the stupid Wigglytuff. And that is a continue. Sweet. That was the biggest pain in the ass battle in the world there. I earned my perfect there. I earned my perfect, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, it's good. Oh, that battle was the most annoying battle ever. I think they had like three or four uh, double teams are. Oh, not the burglar. All right. Starmie using its body and its soul to win. Yeah, it, it put its body on the line. Like, I'm putting my body, my pickle suit on the line right now, you know? All right, what's... Oh, this is this annoying Nine Tails and all the ground Pokemon you could ever want in your life. So, this one I beat... So, we did Starmie as the lead here. I didn't press two. Starmie, Raichu, and Lapras were the go here. All right, let's do it. The crowd's excitement is building. This is round four. It's always this tentacle, you know? It's always the start. All right, let's go for Thunder. This will probably go for, like, Toxic or... Oh, I outspin. Yes! Yes! Yeah, it always does toxic. Maybe I should go... I should have gone sub. All right, I'll know that for next time. That I'll just go sub straight away. Not that toxic is really like a game-changing thing. You know? Here we go again. Oh, like the tentacle, the tentacle didn't get a crit. That's surprising. Normally it always gets a crit. There we go. Uh, the tentacle's out. So that's always just a, a, a general pain in the ass. That's fine though. It's, it's gone. So next time, sub on the first if it's a tentacle for a toxic and then thunder. Ooh. Drowler. So this is going to use Psychic. Psychic. I don't know what else it's going to use. Psychic or... Hmm. Okay. What, what will this even use? Oh, yeah, it's just going to use... Okay. 
I have good news for you. Wiggly Tough can't learn double team or minimize. You are safe for now. I'm making it really sad. I can't use that set. I, I, I guess it depends where it, like what happens with Pokemon Home, right? But yeah, it's 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 probably it's probably gonna be a um maybe Lapras. I'm tr I'm just what I'm trying to do is conserve the um conserve the uh the continue. Okay. Oh, it's so like, oh! Nido King or stuff like, oh, Doug Trey, this is good. Will this, this is actually really good. Let's go ahead and go for Ice Beam. What are they going to do? Swap back in friggin' Hypno or Drowsy? What will it do? Okay, well, surely, surely Doug Trio's not going to live a, um, an Ice Beam. I got a credit? I don't think that mattered. Seriously, I don't think that one mattered. Yes, it is a pickle costume. What, what do you reckon of it? It's, it's, look, it's looking pretty green. If I... Actually, if I do this correctly, I can get a continue here. I just have to... um, I just have to beat this drowsy. Yeah, way to waste my crit, you're right. I, I, I should have kept that crit hacks for another Pokemon that's really more important. What? I got all the luck in this battle. I didn't need good luck in this battle. This, Look at that poor Drowsy. It's like, bruh. It's like this. <laughs> all right, we're going to go for a, another Ice Beam. <laughs> oh, I wanted to use this in the last battle. Oh, there we go. That second last battle. I've wasted all my luck now. It's not going to happen. Well, at least I got to continue, but I was, I was going to get a continue anyway. So it's not, it's not often you can continue that trainer. That's, that's not an easy one to continue. Yeah, I just, I just got the right Pokemon there. All right, we're halfway in now. We're deep in. Three continue. I think I'm, I think I've got the most continues like last time because I had three continues on the hiker, right? Huh. It's funny I had a, such a rocky start. All right, so we know the Mr. Mime is the first Pokemon. We know that it uses Thunder Wave. How about I, 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 I could start, I either start with Starmie and then Sub and then attack it. Obviously, I'm going to bring Raichu along too. I think Starmie's going to be a good lead. Let's give, let's give Starmie a go, and then we'll go Raichu. Seven for Anthony. Have you been counting the freezes I've been getting in this playthrough? That's crazy. Raichu leads the T wave unless Mister, uh, or they leave with Gengar. Yeah, if they do, then um, yeah, that that's that is a problem. That's a serious problem. See, that's what always worries me if they if they do lead with that. I'm going to go reselect again. That's why I love to go with Raichu as the lead there. All right, we'll go Starmie. Raichu, Starmie. Uh, Lapras, I guess, or Kadabra. I don't know. I don't know. Kadabra, Kadabra actually did pretty good only because it got like really lucky last time. That was the only reason it worked. The laggy thunder Golduck animation. We need to freeze the Arcanine in the seventh round. If, if yo, that'll be that'll be that'll be absolutely incredible. Huh. Uh, unfortunately, it's not all that good. Um, Dream Tank. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not. It's just not useful in this cup, and it doesn't get the right moves. If anything, I could use Executor, but even then, that's only really useful in like one battle. I don't think it gets Razor Leaf crit as, as well. Like I think it gets like Mega Drain or something like that. It's like Mega Drain, Toxic, and some other like useless moves. Hmm. All right. Let's do it, people. We got three continues. This is always such a difficult battle, this one here. Oh, the Gengar lead. Uh, 
Thunder wave time. Fine. We go thunder wave here. So now they can't bring any level 20s along. So it's it's not all that bad. It it could it could be worse. Yes, I landed a thought. Whoa, that did nothing. I'm gonna go into stop. See, if I swapped into star me, I would have got critted. So now I'll go into star me and go for sub, I guess. Yeah, thankfully, star uh, that can't that can't miss. I think seismic toss that did a little bit less than seismic toss. I oh, know a little bit more, just only a little bit more. Same damage, 100% hit. Ugh. I think I'm going to go for a sub here. Let's go for a sub. I mean, I've got nothing to lose. It's not like I'm going to do much damage to Gengar, or, you know. All right, you've got Nightshade. Oh, I was hoping for a Paralyze there. Well, the best I can really do here is go for Bubble Beam, and it's not going to do anything at all. This is not good. I'm going to need like a crit to speed this up because I think it's about a four to five, probably a five hit KO from here. Yeah, or a six hit KO. Ah, this game, a uh, side si wave is really trash. The intense battle continues. They go into battle post. This Gengar lead is so difficult. It's, it's just so tanky as well with, um, you know, when you've got uh, special attackers. And no, and not a single Paralyze was ever seen either. Did I have a special drop then? I just looked away for a second. Hmm. Uh, Gengar can sometimes have... Mega Drain, though. That's the only reason, like, you'll probably get, like, destroyed. A crit wouldn't even take this out, but uh, a Paralyze would be nice. You know, just one. Speed drop, not that that's really going to matter at all. So I attack that three or four times, and they, in, that, in that space, they got two crits and landed every single move. Well, they didn't get Paralyzed once. I may as well not even use Thunder Wave. <laughs> Okay, we'll give it a go, Lapras. Um, I doubt Lapras can finish out two Pokemon, but I'll give it a go. I'd have to get very, very specific Pokemon for her. Oh my goodness. Wow, this Gengar's so lucky. Not one single Paralyze and a special drop to back it up. They got all the luck in the world there. That's rubbish. All right, we're going to have to restart this one because that Gengar is just, I don't know, they just uh, pr they just pressed the hacks button. Unless I get two freeze hacks back to back. <laughs> That's not going to happen. What will the next Pokemon be? Let's just see what they would have had anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't have beaten that. I, I, I would have beaten that if I if I didn't. If it wasn't unlucky. Freeze hacks, freeze hacks. I got a crit with Ice Beam? Yo! What are you going to use? Thunderbolt. Well, that's probably going to kill me. Oh, I just lived. I got up to the last Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I got up to the last Pokemon. There it goes. I got another crit. I don't think that one mattered, but imagine if I if I if I outspeed the next Pokemon and I freeze it, that'd be the that'd be imagine that Lapras. That'd be the greatest moment ever. It's not gonna happen though. But what's this? Nah, I'm not gonna outspeed. See, I would have beaten this team. I had the right Pokemon for it as well. That that's very unfortunate. Oh, well, we tried. We tried, people. What are you doing? You dug a hole? Why would you not just use... 
I don't understand that. Does it not have any other water? I'm sure it's got a water move. Yeah, the Gengar was like wild lucky. Well, Dig can't miss, so that's GG. Can't believe that. So probably the best case scenario. I mean, that Gengar is just, the Gengar is probably the hardest one. Isn't it? Because like, I've got very little physical. Do I even have any physical Pokemon on my team? It's just better. Like most of the time it's better not to. Like, I don't think I've got any physical Pokemon. That's why it's so difficult for. Yeah, I've got none. All right. Um, I think I need Kadabra for that Gengar. Like, that's what I used last time. But Gengar's like... I don't know, man. It just hardly ever comes up. And when it does, it beats that combination. But when it doesn't, every other Pokemon on the Kadabra is better. All right. So we got Raichu, Starmie, and... Lapras isn't bad, you know, for this team. It's not all that bad. I actually think it's pretty good. All right, we're going to go Kadabra this time. You watch. They won't bring Gengar. They'll bring something else that counters it. Okay, Golduck. I don't think that I outspeed this. I'm just going to go for Thunder. Thunder Wave never works in my favor anyway. It didn't go for Dig, it swapped. Execute. Oh, we haven't versed this very much. I told you they counter me. That did absolutely nothing. All right, what are you going to use? Like. All right, I'm going to go Thunder Wave. That's important. It's probably just going to spam Psychic. If this has Dig, I'm turning my switch off. <laughs> I'm sick of Dig. All right, come on. Use Psychic or... So All right, that, yeah, Psychic. All right, fair enough. This thing is super thick too. Gee, oh, holy crap. Did you see how much damage that did? That nearly one-shotted my Raichu with Psychic. This thing was on like... Holy damn, this thing's like injected itself before the battle. I, I, I don't know what to do. Like, a Kadabra? I don't even want to swap. This is the only... I'm going to go Seismic Toss and just cross my fingers and hope for the next Pokemon can do something. <laughs> this is bullshit strong. This executor is wild. It's so tanky. I could double team a Kadabra? I could, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I might try that Scarb, all right. I'm going to get as many seismic tosses off here as I can. That's all right. All right, it's, it's time for the Kadabra double team. What will it use, though? So it's got Psych... I'd, I'd assume it's probably got something like... It has to have a status move like Leech Seed or something. Wait, what can I do to... Oh, Mega Drain. All right, we'll use Mega Drain against Starmie. So we'll go into Kadabra. And it's going to have Egg yeah, egg Bomb or Barrage or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. So we gotta, we just have to hope for the... We have to hope that the Hacks Gods will be on our favor this time. All right, Kadabra, it's time to get them juicy, uh, juicy evasions up there. So now I've got three spoons. Egg Bomb's not 100% either. Or, you know, we'll just stab 100% accuracy Egg Bomb and take out my Kadabra and have no chance of winning. Cool. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, we, all we got left is uh, Starmie, which is going to do nothing. So Kadabra is useless except for the Gengar battle. Uh, okay, we're going to just go ahead and go for a massive Bubble Beam. All right, I can't do anything. I'm, I, I basically lost. I basically lost this battle. What I, I, I'm about to go for Psy Wave. Let's go for Psy Wave. Here we go. Let's roll that maximum damage Psy Wave. It's gonna it's gonna change everything. Here we go. Woo! Very nice. It's good damage. Get paralyzed. There we go. We, we've still got this. You know, this is this is an easily winnable battle. Uh, de definitely gonna win this. Psy Wave is the key here, people. It's the key to victory. Gotta unlock the key to victory. Here it comes. Whoa! One more attack. Egg bomb. Surely this can miss. 
Because I used this before. That's doing a- Whoa! What? How is it doing that much damage? Is, why is that doing so much damage for? Right, I'm going to go for a safety bubble beam here. Why, why is Egg Bomb nearly all, uh, like That does three quarters of my health. I, I wish I could sub, but I don't think it's going to work because like... The computer never gets paralyzed. Like, I think I got paralyzed like once. What is this? High gold. Right, thunder. We're gonna have to no have another go at this, people, because that executor is just t so tanky. I got a crit. I think this kills. Oh, that is the end of the gold. Who's left? I hope it's like a sympathy poker one. We can just press the A button and win. Hopefully, it is. Who's left? It, oh, I don't know if we can beat Lickitung, though. Uh, Lickitung is, like, super thick. Unless I get a bubble beam crit or something. Nah, we're done. We're cooked, people. We're going to have to go again. I mean, even a bubble beam crit is not going to take that out. Oh, I needed an, I needed a crit, then I needed to leave this. Probably, like, body slam. Okay, Thunderbolt. I'm not living that. Damn. So that executor is just, it has like coverage for everything. All right, we're gonna have to go again. So first we got Gengar, then we got executor. Hmm. The Kadabra is virtually useless there. So I'm not gonna bring Kadabra to this battle. I just have to hope for no Gengar. That's the only time Kadabra is really good in this battle. Like, like last time. I can already see the, in the future. Welcome back to Pokemon Stadium walkthrough part 69. Yeah, probably. All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to disagree with this. So we got <laughs> Raichu, Starmie, and... Um, I mean, Lapras is good for Ice Beam on that Executor. Geng... What? Wait. Wait, no, that can go Psychic on Gengar. Or Chan... How about Chansey? Chansey with counter on Egg Bomb. Hmm. I think Chansey wouldn't be bad either, because, like, what can Gengar do to Chansey? He can't do much. I'm just, I'm just thinking, because, like, Gengar can't do much outside of, like, what, Nightshade? And then... Executor can't do much to it either, except Egg Bomb, but then I can go counter on Egg Bomb. I'm going to try Chansey. That's actually not bad. The only bad one would be Eradicate because I'm going to get dropped by Hyper Beam. <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be... I mean, yeah, Chansey can handle those eggs. What it'll do, it'll just rip apart its stomach and uh, the pouch will be even bigger than you. will just collect the fucking eggs and then get the double with the counter. All right, we're going to go for a, a th Thunder Wave. It's the Gengar again. Of course, I didn't bring Kadabra. Wow, what a surprise. And uh, it's going to go Psychic. Here we go again. It's like Deja Vu. Yep, I lived that. And now I go into Chansey this time. To conserve the Raichu, I think. Uh, we're going to go to Chansey now. For a four, what for I do for four pickle? Uh, you can pick, you can pick your condom, any condom you'd like that I've got in in my house that you can put on top of the pickle. I pick, I can have a pickle. Yesterday I did a pickle brine shot with mayonnaise in it, so you can even do a pickle brine shot with your ch your choosing of sauces or things inside of there. If we get to a fourth pickle, there you go. So there's not a lot I can really do here. I mean. Counter's not going to work against Nightshade. I can go uh, Bubble Beam for... I don't know. I guess, I guess the Thunderbolt's the best one. Hmm. Okay. So Chansey at least is going to outspeed here. I need to go. I need some crits, though. Oh, wow. Psychic. I wish that I had Psychic on my... Ch I wish that I had Psychic on my Chansey, you know. It would have been so good. Crit. Come on, Chansey. You've got such a good chance of critting. Oh, look at that, Dammy. I'm, I'm rolling up that seven or eight health. All right, Psychic again. 
Gengar never gets paralyzed. Spare, look at this shit. It never, ever gets paralyzed. And then it drops specials, it crits. I don't, are they, seriously, the only good thing about paralyzing it is to drop its speed. That's it. There's no other benefit. It never, ever gets, like, hacked at all. I got a, wow, I got a crit with Chansey. That's a really, really low chance. I've got, you know, Gengar's obviously going to never get paralyzed, but that was actually pretty good. All right. So, I guess I can conserve... I can serve the Raichu and then go to Starmie. Yeah, let's go for a, a sub here. Wait, hang on. I go for a sub. Gengar will just go for a Nightshade again, won't it? It'll just do Nightshade. I'll just waste health. We, we already know that it's not going to get paralyzed. Wow, a speed drop. That's going to change the entire battle. Oh, Nightshade. Okay. I think this is my last continue. You can correct, correct me if I'm wrong, though, but I believe it's my last continue. Alright, let's go Bubble Beam again. Just one Paralyze would be nice. Oh, yeah, baby. One more. Come on, Paralyze. This thing has attacked almost 10 times and hasn't had a single, like... It hasn't even had any bad luck at all. Not even one time. Not even a single time. I don't think I've ever seen Gengar get paralyzed once. Yeah, 10 times in a row. Like the AI is just like this with our freaking action replay, man. They're like, Game Shark, ha, ah, they're winning. All right, next Pokemon, what is this? Golduck? Uh-oh, -uh, not Mr. Mime. This is like, this is virtually just another bulky Pokemon that's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, I guess I'll just go for uh, Bubble Beam to try and drop its speed because it's very, very fast. It outspeeds my Raichu. That's speed drop. Wow, that was actually pretty lucky. Bye-bye, Starmie. I think it's like 30% air thing for Paralyze. Great if I'm wrong, but it's 30%. There's only one but for that Gengar, it's like 0%. Uh, Raichu faints to a Psychic here. Unless I get a Critical... I don't even know if Thunder will actually take that out. I don't think that it will. I hope I get a crit just to see how much damage this does. It'll be interesting. Oh, <laughs> we know you will just miss. <laughs> Come on. Well, I think I've got one more chance against this trainer, and that's it. You know, this has just been this has been terrible. No, no, this thing works. I, I've got up to the second last one before. I just got bad luck. It's just it's just been that. But virtually, it's just been like that battle the whole time. This hiker is just it's just a hacker. I think I, I've got one more continue. Okay, we're still in the game. We're still in the game. So we don't want a Gengar lead when I don't bring Kadabra. But if I bring Kadabra and then they never bring Gengar. Yeah. Chanty didn't do monkeys that battle. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Kadabra. Bugger it. Does Egg... Does Egg use Egg Bomb against Chanty? Yes. Yep, that would work for counter, but... That's the thing. I, I don't know whether whether to bring... Kadabra's only good for one Pokemon, and that's Gengar. No, I shouldn't bring it. I'm going to go... Ch like, Chansey, I really just had there. Uh, just for a bit of... Okay, maybe... Maybe Lapras. I'm going to go Lapras. Whatever. Maybe the freeze hacks can work for me. All right, please not Gengar this time. It's only like, it's, it's one of three picks, like... Are you serious? Every time I don't pick Kadabra, they pick Gengar! Every single time! Oh, this is bullshit! They're literally re they're reading my, my Kadabra inputs. I'm like, oh, I'll just go Kadabra. Oh, better pick Gengar, you know, like, <laughs> every fucking time! All right, we're going to go for Thunderwave here. I can't even freeze axe a Gengar because I need to go for uh, Thunderwave to control its like crazy ass speed. 
Oh, all right, that's it. I'm going for a thunder. Cr Even, you know what? Seismic toss. That's better. Seismic toss. I'm not even going to go for Thunder because I already know there's going to miss. A decent hit. A <sighs> yeah, I mean, at this point, Growl would probably be better than even attacking. All right, that's the end of Raichu, as predicted. See, what I could do now is I could bring in Kadabra and go for Psychic, and then Gengar wouldn't be able to do anything to it. But now I'm sort of, like, stuck. I don't want to lose Starmie either because it's far. All right, we're going to Lapras. Oh, it's Lapras. Seismic Toss, it you're right. It does as much as Thunder. It's like the most saddest thing in the world. Um, I guess I just go for Ice Beam and hope for a crit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freeze this paralyzed Gengar at the same time. I guess I did a little bit more than Chansey did. This is, okay, I'm counting the turns now. That's 12 turns without one single Paralyze. That's 12 turns. 12 turns. Because it already did 10 last time, and I'm counting the two already, because that's in a row. You have to count that in a row. All right, there's 13 in a, 13 Psychics in a row. He's able to do 13 Psychics in a row without... Well, I lived that. I guess I got a Max and then a Min. Cool. At least I get a chance now at taking Gengar out. Oh, I got a crit. Okay, finally that's the end of the Gengar. So Gengar currently has 13 in a row. Gengar got power the... I think, yeah, so out of 13 turns, it's been paralyzed once. That is some wild luck. Uh, well, I was hoping we didn't verse this stupid mine, but here, here it is. So Raichu's gone. Yep, we, we lost. We lost because of... Like, the Gengar and Mime is really rough. Uh, Miranda has done a $2 Super Jet saying, can I wipe my Switch controller with a baby wipe? Yes, you can. You can. Ready? Here's a baby wipe. Just like be, be mindful where the buttons are, right? So don't just be like, don't, don't just like, you know, drip that water in. So just like, just go around like this, you know? Go around like this. Yeah, just do it on the surface. You'll be fine. There we go. That's, there we go. There we go. Right, that's 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 how you wipe a controller down with a baby wipe. There you go. Professional clean. Got it all around, nice and clean. You know, wipe all the uh, the pickle juice and the salt off. Just like in the open connections and stuff. Don't like don't, don't like dig it into there. That's all, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Like, I always wipe mine down. They call like quality stuff there. Now you now you know how to wipe a pro controller down with a baby wipe. All right. Um, I know you all learned something there. It's a very uh, educational stuff. Let me put the pickle head back on. All right. All right, Starmie. It's a... Uh, Psychic doesn't break the sub. I'm not sure. Let's try. How about we go for sub and try? I doubt we're going to win this, but I'll, I'll try to the end, right? I'll, I'll, gi I'll give it my all. There's the Thunder Wave. At least, I, at least I've got a free turn. Hmm... Okay, time to uh, time to get a crit with Bubble Beam 500 times in a row. I'm going to steal some of that Gengar's luck. That's a four-hit KO. Now, if this doesn't break the sub, I might be able to beat this. Yeah, it did. It took the attack. Cool. Instructions unclear. My pro controller is leaking gallons of a baby white fluid. That sounds absolutely real. It sounds like you just extracted the entire packet and just dumped it on top of there and left it overnight. And then your alcohol was just seeping out of the controller. I think one more bubble beam takes us out. Maybe I should... Actually, no. The better idea would be to go for sub again. Then I have a sub for the last Pokemon. And then I won't be able to Thunder Wave me. So let's do that. Because I, I think I was in this position last time. And I didn't go sub, I went Bubble Beam again. And then the last Pokemon, you know, I think it, I, I think it could have, could have, yeah, that's good. Now Substitute isn't, like, it's at full, full health, so, yeah. 
Please give me a sympathy last Pokemon. I need it after all that Gengar luck. I got a crit. I don't think that one actually... I love how I didn't... I got it and it didn't matter. So Starmie always beats Mime if you've got like, you know, a good sizable chunk of health. Oh! Oh, this is good. I only had to land a... Th I'm not going to say... I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying, not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything at all. I'm not saying anything. I didn't say anything! Oh! It's going to use Dig and freaking dug a hole. Yo, that thunder has to go down that hole. Uh, okay, what do we do here? I, I can't do anything. I, I can't even do anything. I guess I just go, um... Let's go Sire Wave. I wish I'd minimize. Yo, Sire Wave can go down the hole, man. Look at this. It's going through the hole. How did that miss, though? All right, dig. I guess I just go for um, Thunder again and hope that there's no point going sub now. I'm just going to straight up Thunder. Mm -hmm. I can't, I got it! <laughs> Fuck off, Golduck! Alright, I finally got that Golduck! Hell yeah! That's the win, people! We finally got past this stupid ass trainer! Damn, that used up every single one of my freaking continues! Oh! Man! That shit was so annoying! So annoying! I need a drink after that, man. <laughs> Far out. Reality itself super chatted ten dollars. It's thunder from down under. It should hit. Yeah, hey, you're right. You're right, reality. It's thunder from down under. So that way, that way, the thunder should go through the hole and you know, hit the gold underneath the ground. That makes sense to me. Shout out to reality for the ten dollars super chat. <laughs> and I 100% agree there, reality, that the thunder should land underneath the ground. All right, we're up to the next one here. Who is this? Oh, Bob the Builder. All right, fair enough, Bob the Builder. Oh, this Porygon. So Starmie's needed for that Porygon. Uh, okay, so Starmie I'll put in the uh, the bag. Oh, unless they bring their Raichu. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm late to the party. What did I miss? You missed a lot. I, I, I can't even describe the salt that's inside of me from the, the battles that have been before this, but... It's it's been a uh, it's been a magical experience, that's for sure. So we got Raichu, uh, Starmie. No, I didn't press three buttons. Raichu, Starmie. Muck is good. Okay, Gengar would be good for Muck and for Electrode. Yeah, because I think that Electrode explodes. I think that it does. I'm gonna go into Gengar. <sighs> If I was a Mon, would I be Garganackle? Um, I don't know. I probably would still be Dragonite. You'd be a very salty Dragonite, Mon, to answer your question. Okay. Raichu versus Chami. Oh, that's the okay, this is this is the This is the Dragon Raid Charmeleon. Uh, I can outspeed this. I can give it a good th I can actually two shot this. I'm, I'm just going to go thun a thun a Thunder straight away. There's no point. What? I have spent... What? Oh, my God. This stupid fucking dig poke. Every single time. Every single time they've got dig. I'm not joking. Like every single time. All right. That's it. I'm going to go into Starmie and then go for Bubble Beam. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I'm, I, I, seriously, I've never been counted so much with Dig in my life. So we go into Starmie, then we go for Bubble Beam and take the Charmeleon out, hopefully. I know that it's... Don't you... Di okay. Come on, like, if, if I don't take this out with Bubble... What? I was going to say, how the hell does that outspeed a Starmie, you cheating little shit? Or what is this? Oh, okay, hang on. This is gonna go for Thunderbolt, isn't it? I got a speed drop and a crit? Wow! Um, gee, I wonder if, I, seriously, I wonder if Bubble Beam can take that out. 
Oh, I wonder. I don't think it's gonna go boom. I could go into I go I could go into Gengar. Or the balls explode and I go into Gengar and it's 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 easy. I need Starmie for Charmeleon. Yeah, I absolutely do. So we can't sack Starmie off. It's it's too risky. All right, I'm gonna go into Gengar and hope these balls explode. Please. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna swap out. Please go for explosion. Oh, that that that'll be that'll be quality if it does. Oh, I went for Thunderbolt to say that's okay. I've still got decent special. Yeah, I live that. I live that okay. That, that's 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 fine. That's that's, that's okay. Um, I'm going to go for a Nightshade, and that's a two-hit KO. And Electrode is going to get out sped because I've got a speed drop from Bubble Beam, yeah? So, so we're good there. Thunderbolt again, obviously. I, am I Electro? Well, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, at the moment, I'll probably be that Electro because I'm not getting any critical hits. So that, that, that makes sense to me. All right, Nightshade. So we know that... Yo, do you reckon Char surely Charmeleon can't outspeed Gengar? Surely not. So Charmeleon, we're going to use Star Me Four to go Bubble Beam and hope that it, you know, that it KOs it. I don't know though. Like that's that's the thing about I don't know. All right, here it is. All right, Gengar. It's time to... I need you to land a nightshade like yesterday. Here we go. Yes. That's good. That's that's good news. That's very, very good news. So quality damage there on Charmeleon. This thing is stacked with drag... Level 18 and Dragon Rage is no joke. It seriously isn't a joke at all. Inter okay, Starmie, go Bubble Beam, and then I don't know... I don't, I don't really know what happens then. I don't know what's going to ha happen after that. Um, so Starmie. Yeah, last time it used, it, it used Ember and it fainted me. That was, it was very, it was very cruel. I was, uh, crying, crying in my sleep. Are oh, we going to go Bubble Beam here? Yep, that's, this, this should faint. There's no reason why this won't faint. What? Why even did damage before? What? Oh, come on! I even did damage before! I even did damage before with my... That's... That's bullshit! How is that so bulky? I know that it's level 18, but man, I already... Like, I did damage to it early on. Now it's just gonna go dig again. That's it, that's game. It's just gonna use freaking dig. Unless it goes, like, for a dragon rage. Oh! So lucky, man! It's so lucky. Unless I leave Dig. But, you know, Charmian's probably got 4 million, you know, EVs in attack or something like that. Here we go. There we go. Yep, there's the 4 million EVs in attack in the level. Oh, I thought I had Charmeleon then because I, I did the Nightshade to it early. And the last Pokemon was an opposing Raichu. Oh, I don't know whether I would have beaten that. What did I have left? Starmie? It would have been Raichu versus Raichu. That would have been an interesting battle because like we would have paralyzed each other. And then it would have come down to, like, Paralyze. Yeah, Dig's got 100 base power. Oh, let's be real. The Raichu's probably got Dig as well. I know that it doesn't have Surf. Oh, man. This is, this, this is mean. All right, do you want me to have another go? Would you like me to have one more go? Oh. oh, this stupid. I just have to get the right luck with this. I know that I can beat this. It's just getting the right luck, you know? It's just getting the right luck. Take out. G Gengar was helpful, though. I found I didn't really use... Uh, I'm trying to think, like, what that would be 
What would be good? Like, there's no, there's no flying types at all. There's not a single flying type that's good in that situation that can do anything, you know? <sighs> all right, let's, let's do it again. Okay. I, there's nothing wrong with this team at all. It's, it's, it's a good team. It's just like the RNG. And I lost all my continues. To, you know, every time I lost my continues, they keep picking that Gengar and swapping it around. All right. So we have we continue this first one because it's easy, and then we move on from there. And if I can pick up another couple of continues, I'll I'll do that. I think I think the hiker ate like three of my continues. I'm pretty sure that it did. Like three of them just you know gone into the black hole. You know, abyss. Do I regret starting round two? Um, nah, it's been a fun challenge, you know. It's been very frustrating, but it has been fun and rewarding when I actually ended up winning. So there's there's no there's there's absolutely no regrets here for me. Okay. Oh, Farfi. So I haven't really versed this Farfetch hardly at all, so I'm just gonna go into Gengar. I don't think it has any way to hit me though. Yeah, if I can... Okay, let, let, this is hypothetical, right? But let's say I get the continues. I have, like, three, and then I get a good run against the hiker, and I beat it on the first go, and then those other, like, troll ones, you know, the uh, the Gyarados one, and then I get to the end, and I've got three. That's going to be the way to win, or unless I just, like, struggle my way through of no continues, like... But that's hard. That's hard to do. It's either going to be it's either going to be one of those two ways. I've got a lot of continues and I eventually win, or I just somehow get through on like very little continues. I'm going to keep trying though. It is what it is. I should have stick. Yeah, I wish I had sticky web. That would be amazing. Okay, let's get going for nightshade. But there are, there ain't no there ain't no uh you know there ain't no dipping out here. We're going to get this win. Hello, Kath. How you doing? Uh, the run has been good, but... Uh, ooh! Hey, <laughs> mimic my nightshade! Wow, I think it might... Oh, I think it's going to be able to use that. It's going to be able to use nightshade on my Gengar, because it's going to live on one hell. So Farfetch is going to use nightshade. Your rage woke me up. Now you know how I feel when you rage. But it was... um, It, it definitely was... um. Wait, what? Did it just... No, I surely didn't use that. I'm going to go for a Disrespect Mega Drain. It Mimic me Oh! I mean Mimic Metronome. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I assumed that. I, I, I thought I... I, I assumed that it mimicked uh, Nightshade. Oh, Metronome Pound! <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, next is Buttery. Well, this car... I don't know whether this has Psychic or not, but I, I doubt it's going to one-shot me. So, we'll see. I know this got Hyper Beam and Stun Spore. That's about it. Mimic Ran... I, I thought I picked the last one, but that's, I guess that's how it went after the Gen 1. Stun Spore. Okay. Oh, it had no effect. Cool. I was just going to keep doing this and swap into uh, Kadabra and just you know get, get rid of it. Okay, I need two more. Two more. Oh, it's got. It does have psychic. Okay, fair enough. Gengar, I know can live that one because it's got a good special. All right, Butterfree's gonna go for another psychic, so I'll just go into Kadabra and then live that and then finish it off with uh, psychic, and that'll be a continue. So Gengar is handy in this battle to get that get an easier continue. Watch it use dig. Oh, you stun spore. That's that's strange. Normally, normally they attack when they're on lower health. I guess they uh they did that little button reading. What now? All right, that's the end of buttery. The pickle suit looks super uncomfortable. Um, oh, it's it's. Oh, I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable. 
the, 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 the only thing about it is you can't really see it, but like you have tunnel vision when you're wearing it because like sort of comes, it comes out here. So like I can really only see a head and so I have to actually turn to see to the sides. That's that, I guess that's probably one of the worst things about it, but apart from that, and it does get kind of warm, but apart from that, it's, it's, it is what, you know, it's the same as what any sort of like outfit would be, I guess. <clears throat> okay, next one here. So... Oh, uh, what do we got here? Raichu... Raichu, Stami... And what did I pick again? I think it was... I think it was Lapras. Lapras. Is it a cold or hot in WA? Um, at the moment... The current weather for Western Australia, where I'm living, is 17 degrees, partly sunny. So it's, it's not bad at the moment. It's not bad. Oh, wait. Wasn't this the Dig War Turtle as well? I don't, I don't think I'll find out anyway. It's going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, that's it. It was a Dig one, but it's not going to use Dig because I'm going to one-shot it. Good. That's a good start. 18 degrees in New South Wales. That's almost the same as... Um, it has been raining uh, last... They like, rained a little bit this morning. A little bit rainy this morning. That's about it. Uh, you're probably going to use something annoying. So I'm just going to go Thunder Wave. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't New South Wales mostly always cold, though? I don't know. I mean, Cel yes, uh, Kiana, I mean Celsius. So... That, that's the measurement I use. I don't use like Fahrenheit or whatever. I'm not. I don't use that measurement. The breeze from the mountains is cold. That's that is fair. Uh, ice beam wouldn't be bad here. Let's go for seismic toss, and then I'll swap in the Lapras and finish it with ice beam. How's that sound? Fifty-one degrees here. I don't even know what is, what is 50, 51 Fahrenheit. I don't. Know, I don't know what that is. Our body slam. I can live another one. Why, who likes the heat and who likes the cold? Like, say if you had to, if you had your choice, would you rather the heat or the cold? Like, you don't need to pick one though. You can't say heat and cold. Like, if you had to live in a place, would you rather be hot or cold? All day, all night. You have to take your pick. I mean, I'm just, I'm just kind of curious here. I'm kind of curious what people are, are going to pick. I guess that probably depends on where you grow up too. Because if you grow up in the heat, you're like, oh, I don't mind the heat, but I, I hate the cold. You know that sort of thing. Yeah. But if you know, if, if if you if you grow up in the in the cold, you probably hate the heat. You know that sort of thing. Timothy has said cold in caps. That's that's a absolutely cold. Shout out to Timothy. <laughs> It's kind of weird because most people are saying cold here. Most people are saying cold. That's that's very interesting. Yeah. Cold, easier to layer and warm up. But if it's hot, it's harder to get cool. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. It depends if you've got like a fan or aircon or something like that. All right. I think that was a continue. That was a, that was a beautiful continue there. Cold as the Articuno. Using Blizzard on you. You can put on more clothes than you can take off. That's tr that, I guess that is true. Okay, next up is this third... Okay, this one I definitely... This, this, I feel like I should be able to continue the first three. Unless I get very, very unlucky. And then I think I used, uh, where were you? Then I, then I think I used like, who was it? They're all special attackers, aren't they? Except Fiamma. I'm gonna go Gengar, cause that's got Mega Drain and that Fira would be counted. You'd rather freeze than he? Kill it all, okay. Hmm. I always read that Slowbro is Boomer <laughs> instead of Broma. Now this, doesn't this have Earthquake? Ooh. Uh, let's go Thunder. I have to attack. Yeah. 
Using the picks I said... So these are the picks I've been using the last time, Kath. The only difference is Gengar. Oh, they critted me. Damn, that was lucky. I think I might have barely lived that earthquake. How do you deal with all the tarantulas in Australia? So where I live, there's no tarantulas to, uh, to clear that up. There's no tarantulas at all. I mean, there's spiders. Gengar does suck. There's only really good for like... Maybe that first battle and a few normal, normal ones. It's not really all that good. Maybe from like just a couple of specific counters. Apart from that, it's kind of useless. It's good for the um the the second battle there, and it's good for maybe the. Oh, I thought it was good for the Raticate, but the Raticate has dig, so it's not good for that. So there's only a very couple of small uses as well. I find I don't really use it very often. Um, but yeah, mainly we have spiders here. They're not tarantulas though, just normal spiders. You know, things like that. Uh, this, oh, we know what this is, don't we? We know exactly what this is. So this is the stupid wiggly tough. I'm just gonna bubble beam this. There's heaps of hunts. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say there's heaps of them. It sort of depends where you live, right? In Australia, like in, in Queensland and stuff like that, and uh, there's there's way more, you know, those kind of crazy spiders there. Uh, yeah, so... I could just sack this and then finish with Geng... Nah, Gengar's not going to be... Gengar's not going to be able to do enough by itself. Uh, okay, we'll go into Gengar here, and Gengar's going to be pretty much completely useless because it can only go Nightshade, and then the Wigglytuff will go Rest again. We had this problem last time. I probably should have brought someone. I really need... I'd like a physical attacker on this team. I, I really would like a physical attacker, but I can't find one that's, you know, decent at all. I'm going to go confused, Ray. Yeah, spiders aren't very nice. They're not, like... I guess it's when they're like crawling on you, yeah, crawling on your leg and that sort of thing. Let's go night show. Like, what's everybody's fate? Like, most hated? Like, I guess you could say like creature or animal. Like, is it like a spider, or a snake? Uh, I don't know, some sort of bug or something? Uh, insect? I don't really know. Uh, a frog? I don't know. <laughs> I might be. I can land these, and then it doesn't use rest. A wasp? That's an interesting one. I wouldn't think a wasp would be scary at all. A cockroach? I've been stung by a wasp twice before. Like, the same way, like, it flew up, stung me. It, like, no, it was in my hair, and then I flicked it out, and it stung me, then it stung me again. It was not very nice. God, please miss. Ooh. Cockroaches are like, they're like gross, but I wouldn't find them like scary. They're sort of like, they're just like gross. Yes. Okay, that's down. Good. That's just, a, that's just annoying that wiggly tough. That wasp was trying to get a, I know it was trying to get that fell stinger boost. And in the same day, I got stung by a bee too. I got stung by a bee and stung by a wasp in the same day. That's never, ever happened to me before. Uh, I think I beat this nearly with Mega Drain last time. You got stung inside the ear by a bee? The hell? It crawled inside the, 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 his ear? Oh. That, that sounds revolting. That just critted me with Surf. I think I'm dead. Oh, no. Uh, let's go Mega Drain again. Bed bugs. I can't say I've had bed bugs before. Some shampoos attract, but I guess like a scent or whatever like that. Like a scent of the bees. That crit messed me up there. I would have beaten that Cedra if it didn't crit. I once poked a mantis with a pencil and he grabbed it, scared the hell out of me. Yeah. I, I don't think... I mean, if you... Okay, pretend if you were like a praying mantis, right? And then you know, 
Yeah, you know, someone came along. Oh, I'm just gonna poke you with a pencil. Yeah, I probably. I, I don't know if I'd be the happiest in the in the world either. Uh, let's go ahead and go for a thunder. Yes. Okay, that's the end of Cedra. Good. I just found out I was watching this show, right? Like, in Australia, I'm not sure if you have them over there, but you've, you've, obviously you've heard of ladybugs, right? They're like a little red beetle with, like, black spots on it, and they can fly and stuff like that. But apparently there's another version of ladybugs, and they're like this, this like, one that, like, infests house and stuff, like, like, ha like home people's homes and stuff. I was like, what the hell? Like, it was absolutely disgusting. I was watching this, like, this documentary thing. I was like, that is gross. Uh, they're completely different to, like... Uh, the ones ones here. I don't know if anyone has those, but they're like a ladybug. Yeah. They're like a they're like, but they're like a different version. Not not like the nice nice ladybug. They're like the this like I don't know, this pest ladybug. I was just watch I don't know like if, if anyone's ever heard of them before. But it was it was, just, it was like super it was like super, super gross. Alright, Raichu, Starmy, and Lapras. <laughs> uh, I don't think the Megas have a shiny yet, LSA. But when you when you get the shot when you get the um, I was gonna say I I, 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 I don't know if the shinies have been done. I don't think they've been done yet. All right, we got this Tentacruel lead. We know how this one goes. We know the drill here. Pretty Witch has done a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you, Pretty Witch. Shout outs. <laughs> Nido King, probably? I oh, Doug Tri oh, Doug Trio. Tentacruel agrees. Oh, the hmm. Yeah, it's like these, like, pest ones. I just watched them on a documentary show the other day. I was like, what the hell are these? Oh, that's obviously going to go for... Uh, who do I want to lose here? I mean, I think I might have to sack my Raichu. Then I can swap in Lapras and use Ice Beam. Then they can just bring that Tentacruel back in, can't they? Because Earthquake two shots star me, I don't outspeed it. Yep, I have to, I have to sack off Raichu here, unfortunately. Time to sack it off. Uh, Asian ladybugs, they don't eat aphids. Yeah, no, they were all like in this big cluster too, in like someone's house in like the corner. It was like super gross. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Lapras. I'm gonna go Lapras. Yeah, it is level 18 too. Usually Doug Trio. I haven't had Doug Trio come out of the start that often. Maybe once or twice. So, yeah, this is. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. He used Toxic instead of Earthquake. I just need Lapras to. This, Lapras should faint this with Ice Spin. There should be no worries here. Yep. There's no worries about that. You got your Mega uh, Absol. Well done, LSA. Well done. They're like the little, they're the super rewarding ones for like, you know, super dedicated uh, members. Uh, okay, uh, we've got um, Tentacruel coming out here. Now, there's not much I can do apart from... What would that be doing? Uh, I guess I go for Ice Beam Freeze. That's about it. I don't want to swap into Starmie. Oh, no, it's got Rap. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um... Yeah, that's just going to go rap again, isn't it? I'm going to go to Starmie and go Thunder. What would you do with a Jolly Natured Lapras, Parahax, or Body Slam, Confuse Rate? Mm, it depends. You could go like a physical Lapras. You go Dragon Dance, uh, Dragon Dance on it. If you don't want to go for like a, um, you know, like a Body Slam and Confuse Rate set. Oh, come on! Oh, 
I should have just freaking substituted again. I always forget to sub on that that tentacle. Every single time I forget to sub. Thunder probably would have missed anyway. Oh, that's good. Well, I mean, it's a start. Be nice if I get a paralyze here. Okay, that didn't do very much. I mean, Bubble Beam's got to do nothing. I might as well just go for Thunder again. I need a zoom lens. Yes, I do. Thank goodness. All right, that's the end of Tentacruel. Nice. Oh. I know a guy got stung next to his eye and the bee got stuck in the... S that doesn't sound very nice at all. I think Drowsy is the last... Yeah, Drowsy is the last Pokemon. Cool. Um, I'm just going to go Bubble Beam. I'm not going to get greedy with accuracy at all. That's all right. I'll take that. Now, this is, I think this only has Psychic. Yeah. And I can use Lapras to finish this off. They just got a critical hit with Psychic. That was lucky. The worst one I reckon to be stung by would be a hornet. That would hurt because those things can lift like spiders up. I was watching one. It was flying through the sky and it had like these like talons and shit like that, right? And it had a, it was, it was holding a spider. It was flying along the air with a spider. I'm like, what the fuck? Like it was carrying a, a spider that was literally twice the size of it. I was like, that, that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be very fun. Yeah. It was like a spider at least tw twice the size of it. It was, it was super gross. All right, we're going to go Ice Beam here. Is Marmite or Vegemite better? I like um, I like Promite Fly Force. That's, I like that better than both of those. If you've ever had Promite before. I don't know whether that's an Australian thing. I know that Vegemite is. I know about and Marmite, but I don't know. I know if Promite actually is, but Promite is nice. I pimped my stream before bed. Hell yeah. You just caught the probably the last bit of it. All right, we're halfway so far. We've got two continues. So I'm just going to say this now. This is going to be my last run for today. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I hope that I can win, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going through to I win or I, or I lose here. So this is one I commonly lose on as a hiker. What's the pro in might? I don't know. Maybe I think it's like a tiny little bit sweeter. Hmm. Um. Okay, here we go. What's it going to be? The Gengar lead again for the thousandth time, or is it going to be something different? Raichu. Stami. It's always like, is it Kadabra or Lapras? I'm just thinking, Kadabra or Lapras here? Because every time I pick Kadabra, Gengar's never there. But then I pick Lapras instantly. Gengar's the first Pokemon. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to go Kadabra this time. i got a feeling they're going to bring this Gengar. I just got a feeling inside of me. Let's see what happens. Okay, no Gengar yet, but not a bad match up here. Not, not, nothing bad. Nothing bad at all. Let's go for a Thunder from down under. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, not you. Oh, it's the Executor. We don't have Lapras. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave. Damn, this, this, every time I bring Kid bro, what the, oh, bro, we won't bring Gengar, we'll bring a uh, fucking Alakazam, sorry, no, Alakazam, we'll bring Executor instead. It's level 22, it's so thick. Like, you re and it can, ready? I think Psychic one, wow, okay, I, I swear, you know, Psychic one shots me nearly, and that dropped my special too. Well, I wasn't gonna go for that, I was gonna go for Seismic Toss. <laughs> uh, 
I need like a thousand paralyzers in a row here, but I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get a single one. What can Kadabra even do? I think Kadabra can just go psychic, that's about it. I mean even Lapras could have gone ice beam, it would have been you know infinitely better than uh, Kadabra. Uh Starmie, well I'm not gonna do that yet. We'll go Kadabra. I know they're not bringing Gengar now, so I may as well get as many uh, attacks off with this. Unless I go for a special drop. Not that it's going to matter. Well, let's go ahead and go for a... Oh, I could go double... Let's go double team. Yeah, let's try and do double team. And uh, I think I did this last time, and then Egg Bomb hit me on the first time, and it was paralyzed, and I plus one up as well. Let's see what happens. Oh, I actually got a me. Wow, that's a that's an enormous surprise because normally that always lands. Okay, we're gonna go double team again. I think egg I wonder how much PP this move actually has. Right, double team is right. My my evasion is rising. That's this will be my third one. Hey, I'm gonna use all. The, I'm gonna use all the scum in the world if they are. Well, that's 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 uh, that's fair. I think it, I was gonna say eight, but it might be ten. Yeah, I can't remember. This is my fourth double team. Exactly, rising like something else. Exactly. All right, here we go. Rising like my chances to um to win against this executor. Not one paralyzed yet. I've, I've virtually just relied on on, on uh, double team here. This is my fifth one now. So if I can get all of them up, I'm just going to spam, um, I guess, seismic toss. Uh, ice punch sweep. Well, I mean, I've, I, I'm sure that I've used ice punch in a sweep before. Not like just ice punch by itself, uh, Shadow. So that's six turns there with no paralysis. Six turns of no... Sorry, I think that's nearly 10 turns because I'm I'm thinking about the moves before that too. You know what I mean? Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! How did you land Egg Bomb? Egg Bomb itself is 100% accurate. And I had six I had six double teams up. Bullshit! I was going to win that. Yo, I would have won that. I had six double teams up. Oh. And they didn't even get paralyzed a single time. This executor's rigged, man. That's just not fair. What's that? <coughs> there, it's a hit. Wow, I paralyzed the very first one where it didn't even matter. Another one is conceding an inch. I can't believe it got through that too, because I think Egg Bomb's like 90 or something like that. Or less. Egg Bomb should not be doing that much damage. 85, yeah. 85, and it lands through that. That's unbelievable. If I start the Kadabra, the only thing is, like, Dugtro just one shot with, like, Earthquake. Yeah, 85. I don't know. So they had 85% accuracy, and I had six. I had maximum evasion. I wonder what the chances of landing a hit are if any, someone is good at maths. Well, this has got Thunderbolt. This is exactly the same as last time. Same sort of thing. I'm going to go for a Thunder Crit and Paralyze. <laughs> but yet the, um, the Executor can land a Egg Bomb under six Minimizers. Wow, I actually lived that, but it paralyzed me on one health, so it's the same result. The chance of landing a, a, a hit plus the chance of going 11 turns without no paralysis. All right, well, here we go again. I think I've got 
One more to continue left. Wait, Egg Bomb is 75%? Are you sure? How did they land that then? Oh, wait, I've got two continues left. How did they land that? There's absolutely no way they landed like they landed that against Wow, I don't even like is that like 5% chance to land or land? I feel like that's like really low. Okay, right you. Starmy. All right, we go for Lapras or Kadabra. I'm going to go Kadabra again. 1% chance that I equals a hundred percent. Yes, it does. I don't want to verse this executor. I want to verse her. <laughs> this is bullshit. Oh, it's too many. All right, we're going to go for a time. Here we go again, people. Let's see if I can get some double teams up against this. Return to pickle, basically. I just went inside the pickles. I don't want to come out of this. <laughs> this game literally cheats, man. Like, it literally cheats. All right. I mean, could that, uh, at least I need a Thunder Wave, so that's, that, I guess that's fine. The CPU are definitely adjusted to what I pick. What now? A decent hit. How's that? You watch, next time I won't pick Kadabra and they'll leave with Gengar. T-Wave has been very useful. <laughs> it's been the most useful move ever. All right. Well, we know they've already got Egg Bomb. We know that. We know. That, we know the drill here. We know the stakes. Let's hope it misses. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just impossible to beat this stupid executor. It's got the best luck ever. Like the Gengar, the, this, this trainer has the best luck out of all of them. It has like crazy luck. The commands are issued. It critted me with Egg Bomb, so if I didn't use a sub then, it would have one-shotted me with Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb one-shots a Starmie. Oh look, Psywave missed! That's what should have happened to Egg Bomb. My first paralysis, it didn't matter at all. <laughs> There's a difference between the number of reserve Pokemon. Yeah, I wonder why, game. <laughs> what the fuck? They swapped? Uh, okay. What? I got missed again? That's it. You're getting a thunder, Mr. My. I mean, my last chance. I got one more continue. I've, obviously, I've lost this battle, but my last chance is to try and... I just have to get the right Pokemon. If I don't get Executor and... Um, if I don't get Executor when I pick Kadabra, it's fine. But if I if I get Gengar, then I pick Kadabra. It's it's, it's yeah, that'll be okay. What this? That is that. What will it do? Wow, Bubble Beam's a really powerful move. So thank you for giving it to Starmie. Definitely don't give it Surf. All right, we're going to go uh, start Bubble Beam again. Come on, Mr. Mime. Get that crit going. I know you can crit me. Oh, that'll do. One more. Glad I'm still streaming. I, I'm just... I'm at my last... Very last go at this. If 
for today's stream, of course. We, we, we're going to come back and get the win. But uh, I don't think... Uh, I'm definitely not winning this one. I've got one continue left. So I just need to get the right... I need to get some normal human being luck and then I'll be fine. That's probably asking for too much, though. Definitely probably asking for too much. All right, Mr. Mime is... Uh, so Mr... I think the worst is Executor and Mr. Mime. A uh, Golduck, Golduck's okay because I can beat that with Electric Time Move. That's not a problem. I don't mind Golduck. Okay, I've predict. I've actually predicted they'd do Executor both times, and they did. So. I think this time we'll go with Raichu. Oh, you didn't get a notification for a stream? That's, that's weird. Hello, Andrew. How you doing? You just caught the last little bit of my stream here. So I'm going to say, so if, I, if I don't win this battle, that'll be it for today's stream. But if I win this battle, we'll keep going on and see if we can win. Right? This is my last chance here. Um, there's virtually nothing I could do. The, the luck has just been absolutely terrible. Okay. Raichu. Starmie. Oh, Kadabra or Lapras. I'm going to go Lapras this time. And if you pick Gengar as the first Pokemon, that just that just means that the, they're, they're reading my button inputs. What? What? Oh, come on. That's, yo, if you've been watching the whole time, you know that was, boy, like, that, what? <sighs> Shit's fucking rigged, man. Oh, and a, and a critical hit on my right shoe. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. This is a wild one from the word go. <laughs> this is bullshit. Uh, well, that's it. You know, I've got Lapras. Uh, the only way to beat this Gengar would be like a freeze axe. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable. Okay, look, we, we might be able to win if we get a freeze axe, but the chances of that happening are virtually like nothing. What now? Fit. Come on, Lapras, get a freeze axe. It's the only way to beat this Gengar. Hacks for hacks. Oh. At least Lapras can take it here. Well, people, all that's left now is Starmie, and yeah, I don't think Starmie's beating three other po like th three Pokemon, including a level 20 uh, Gengar. Oh, uh, time has stolen DC. I'll do a so I'll do a salty DC. A all right, Starmie, you need to get a, a Bubble Beam Speed Drop. You get the baby bottles ready. You're right. Get them ready. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, we're Nightshade instead. That's interesting. I guess it, it, they probably figured they'd do more damage than Psychic. Then again, Psychic always crit, so... No. Alright, we're going to go for another... A bubble Beam, I guess? Thunder Super chatted $10. Hello, it's I, your Thunder Conscious. I'm sorry I haven't been hitting so much. <laughs> so, there's someone that came in with the username Thunder and said, I'm sorry I've been missing so much. <laughs> what the fuck? Shout out to Thunder. Um, next time, Thunder, I, could you please land a little bit more? Shout out to, uh, to Thunder for the $10 super chat. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> well, I got a speed drop, so we are going to beat Gengar here. But, man, that, that, was, that, was, that was mean. That was cruel. Yo, this better not live. Oh, come on! Oh, that's... that's <laughs> This Gengar is this, this trainer is the biggest cheat in the world. So the hacker hiker can never, like they can never get bad luck ever, ever. That's a, that's a rage quit. That's, that's a rage quit. That hiker, like seriously, that hiker just cheats every single time. Oh, I'm gonna pick Gengar. Oh, I won't pick it up right every time. It's like it, like it says the game says that it puts its Pokemon in right, but then you pick the Pokemon and the game miraculously just changes them around. Like every single time it happens. I'm not joking. <laughs> it's true. Well, that's about it, people. I hope you had fun, even though I got completely destroyed. Um, we got very, very close again, but of course the bar, like the like the bullshit um hiker the um. The second last trainer. We had a dream run with Gyarados at the start as the first Pokemon, and then you know something bad just happened. We won't we won't say it. like thunder misses and all those sort of things. It happens. I'm gonna be back next time. What's today? So I'll be back tomorrow with another stadium run. We're gonna see if we can. We're gonna continue. We're gonna try and get the win. Uh, I'm not giving up. Um. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to use save states either because that'll like spoil the challenge of it, right? I, I like to do things all the way, you know. Like, don't, I don't like the easy road, you know. I am gonna win this. I just need the right luck. Um, I think all the plays I did were pretty good. Uh, the team was pretty solid there. I don't think it needs any change. I just need the, I just need normal human being luck. I hope you enjoy this one, people. If you want to watch this stream and all its entirety, it will be on YouTube right after this and tomorrow. I guess we'll, you know what? We'll try Pika Cup tomorrow. If I don't win, we'll go to Prime Cup and then we'll go back to this. How's that? So, you know, mix things up a little bit. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Takes a second, right? All you got to do is this, ready? That's it. That's all you got to do. Hit the like button. Takes one second. All right. Thank you, everyone, for uh, coming up to the stream. Big shout outs to all our top supporters for today's stream. We've got Zabba as our highest super chatter. Uh, we've got Killer Dial and the Dream Tank as our highest, our three highest supporters for today's stream. Shout out to everyone that did a super chat. Re-up your membership. Was a viewer. Like the stream. All those sort of things. Thank you so much. Hope you had fun. I'll be back tomorrow, and hopefully we can get this dub. Hopefully. Um, I'll have some videos up tonight. Uh, I've got a couple, maybe, maybe one or two videos up tonight as well. So lots of things to watch and that sort of stuff. All right. See you later, people. Have a great day, night. Um, I'm just going to go take a cold shower because I'm just, I'm so salty right now. I need to, uh, I need to cool off a little bit <laughs> after all those misses. All right. See you, everyone. Peace out.